Is it working now? Is everything good now? Check the VOD and see if you only hear the music on the live stream, please. God damn, that shit's fucking stressful when it happens, man. Whenever you have an audio fucking bullshit. Son of a bitch, man. Is everything good? I mean, um, if you get if you could just check the VOD and make sure the music's only coming through the VOD, I'd appreciate it. Of course I'm gonna nuke a VOD where I'm getting trolled. And then I nuked all the fucking clips too. Fuck it. Nuked everything. All at once. Push of a button. Alright, VOD's good. Perfect. Alright, let's get back into this shit then. Ugh, so annoying. Shut up. Bro, that is one of the most annoying things to ever happen to me. Hands down. My power flickered out. Like, my whole power just flickered off. What a terrible start. What a terrible first hour of stream. Lisa J, thanks for the 10 months. Clown, thanks for the 7 months. Gloomy, thanks for the 21 months. J, thanks for the 8 months. Craven, thanks for the tier 2 for 6 months. Quick and Bad, thanks for the 8 months. Omniplex, thanks for the year. Ugh. Why does this shit keep happening, dude? The other day we had to fucking we were dropping frames today we're uh dropping entire streams <laughs> thanks spanzer i mean none of the settings changed like um actually i think some of the settings changed in obs dude computers are fucking weird Computers are fucking crazy weird, actually. Well, Spanzer is my audio guru. Especially Windows. Bro, it happens so frequently to me. When I moved, my entire audio was fucked. We had to, we had to literally redo my entire audio on stream from fucking scratch, dude. Awful. All right, my car is at the fucking PD. What was the issue? Nothing. It was just when I moved, my entire audio setup was fucked up. I mean, if you're talking about what was the issue, like, just now, I just had to restart my fucking stream PC after, ch for some reason, all my VOD tracks changed to VOD only. It's my VOD only channel. Even though they, like, weren't on the VOD-only channel and a bunch of other tracks, like, ticked off. It, it, fucking stupid. Doesn't even make sense. Play Alabaster Slim. I'd rather be banned. Yeah, we had to, like, literally, me and Spanzer were, like, on a call for, like, what, three, four fucking hours? We had to, like, completely reset up everything on both PCs. Literally both of them. Not just, like, where you do, like, the V-Band audio. Fucking crazy, dude. Okay. That was just habit. That was muscle memory.
goddamn door. <laughs> my phone's in my mouth. Straight to the fucking armory, boys. I want to listen to different music today. I don't know what I want to listen to, though. Um, what's this? I don't know. Um, ooh. Forty two with all timers. No. What? <laughs> Twitch soundtrack for OBS. Who the fuck uses Twitch soundtrack? What a complete garbage thing. Who the fuck uses that? Uh, whoa! Whoa! Been loving the lawyer RP, I'm glad. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Hold on. Create ad. Rory. Banyan. Do anyone fuck them? Oh my god, dude. That shit kind of pulled me out of it a little bit. I'm about to just play variety games today. <laughs> I'm about to just play Risk of Rain 2 or some shit or Diablo Immortal today now. Hey, hey how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, doing good. You had a uh, a client who was like waiting for you. I directed her to your offices, but uh, I think she might have left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I, I call them. I, I don't have their number. I had some. Uh, I fell asleep behind the wheel of my car. No, I know what you're thinking. You were drunk. Well, I would say prove no, that. No, no, no. Of, of course not. Of course not. You know, like these things happen, huh? Uh, I do actually have our number like saved. You know, for. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me. Uh, yeah. Let attacking. me give. Yeah. Let me give her a call. All right. I'll get it out to you. Just tell me when you're ready. Um, I was born ready. Four one five, eight five two, one two one five. Gotcha. Thanks, there. Appreciate that. Oh, you're good. You're good. Yo, what up? Hey, how you doing there? I fell asleep behind the wheel of my car, but I'm ba I'm at the courthouse. If you want to meet up, if you want to talk about your case. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, I'm on my way. All right, all right. I'll be uh, I'll be in my office. Yeah, I was there. It's a, uh, uh, it's about, uh, it's kind of impressive, but you know, also kind of stinky. But you uh, are fair enough. I'm on my way. Bye. Fucking bitch. <laughs> OBS. Red Dead ever again? Bro, the issue with Red Dead is that I get too into it, man, and 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 it ruins my mindset for GTA. Right? That's why I don't do Red Dead a lot. And and the fact is, right now, even if I wanted to do fucking Red Dead, all right? Hold on. Even if I wanted to do Red Dead, okay? I couldn't. All right? Because there's only 30 people on the fucking server. What am I supposed to do? Yo, hi, Mal. Thanks for the 10 months. Appreciate that. 
Lasco, thanks for the 27 months. Sick in the mind, thanks for the two months. Splayed, thanks for the three months. All right. Yeah, everybody's hooked because everybody wants fucking roleplay. All right, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that two role players would be hooked on Red Dead RP? Because it's fucking roleplay. Oh, man. I never would have guessed that fucking one. That Anthony Z and Buddha would be addicted to Red Dead. Oh. You mean to tell me people actually enjoy RP? And people and two people who actually do enjoy RP are enjoying roleplay. Oh. Thanks for telling me. So you can, too. I, listen, man. The server's... Look, man. The server's a different animal like six hours from now when it comes to Red Dead because it's got like 120 people on it. And I would imagine that, you know, you take like Buddha or like Tony or put them on Hello there. Oh, there. Uh, yeah, I was just... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I was just finishing washing my hands. All right, uh... What's, uh... Jesus Christ, you smell like shit. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, so, um... All right, what can I do for you? I need some information. All right, listen, it's either $1,500 to put me on retainer, or it's $500 an hour for consultation. So what's it going to be? Retainer it is. All right, perfect. Thank you. Role players role playing? What is this craziness? Uh, understandable. Uh, dude, it's not that... I don't want to use the excuse that I enjoy it too much. That's why I don't do it. But it's very hard for me to uh, go from what this is to what that is. Right? And it's actually fucking depressing. It's like, it's like imagine this. All right? You've been married for 20 years. Okay. You love your All wife. Alrighty, I got your but then money. you meet someone at a bar and you love that person more. Give me one second to make sure I don't give you too much. All right, all right. Yeah, it's fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred. Let me count it out. All right, all right. Count it out. Take your time. It's a lot of money. That should be about right. Oh, yeah, let me just count this real quick. One second. All right, let me just thumb through this. All right, let me just thumb through this. Why does it taste like shit? Right. What do you think I get my money <laughs> from? Yeah, hey, right. Fifteen hundred dollars. Right, what do you want to know? Um, what do you want to know? Moment. Well. I have this friend that is getting in my way. I'm uh, I'm looking for a snitch lawyer. What's a snitch lawyer? I snitch, you protect me. I'm not a fucking bodyguard. I'm not a cop. How, how can I fucking I'm not protect asking you? I about that. I want good fucking deals. Uh, you all right, you want good deals. So, I right, what type of deals you want with the police department or what? You want me to be like a broker yeah. for you? Yeah, kind of. I want this guy gone. He's one of the biggest meth producers in a city, and he's getting in my way. I need him taken out. I need a shit raided with all of his buddies. I need him fucking gone. And I'm trying to set something up. All right, listen. Let me tell you something. I. What? I can't do nothing. You want me to set something up? You just go down to the police department no, and no, just no. fucking talk to them. I just need advice so how I can protect myself in the best way. You can't. For? What do you mean I can? You can't. You can't protect yourself. I mean, uh, listen, I've seen this city. This city's fucking nuts, all right? Like, just go down and you has got to roll for the dice. No, you know I'm I mean? working with someone. I just need to make sure they are not able to raid me. All right. I, I, I mean, look, I don't know what you want me to do. This isn't, you're not asking me you're for legal advice. You're a fucking job. You're this, a lawyer, aren't this, you? I'm a lawyer. Don't I'm not a no, fucking cop. Don't you have knowledge about this shit and Yeah, stuff? I have knowledge, and I'm telling you that by doing that, they, they can't do nothing for you. 
I mean, they, they, you know, th this guy's getting in your way. You want to fucking rat him out? Go rat him out to the feds. I, I can't do nothing about that. I ain't signing right. no documents on, on none of that shit. I don't want to know I'm nothing about nothing. I'm asking you to sign documents. I'm asking you to, you know, help me with getting a fucking deal. And I'll help you with getting... I, I will. You want me to help you get a deal for, for snitching on somebody? Well, basically, you know... I'm going to set this shit up so that, you know, they can witness a math transaction. But, uh, yeah, the stuff is, I probably was that that guy, so I cannot get raided. I, what you got to do is you got to go talk to a detective. You don't, you don't talk to me. You, I, I'm legal advice. That's fucking it. That's all you can do. That's all, that's all you can do. I can't do nothing for you. What do you, so here's what you're asking me to do. I, what you're asking me to do is to help you fucking set somebody up. All right, that ain't my job, lady. I don't set people up. Oh, no, I'm saying that I'm trying to set someone up. I need you to make sure that when the police, you know, sets that shit up with me, I do not get fucked by them and get raided. Then side. you just tell them that you're helping them set somebody up and you don't want no legal percussions. And that's part of the deal. You tell them, hey... Listen here, cop. I can get you the biggest meth dealer in the city. The biggest ever was the biggest ever fucking will be. But all I want is I want immunity. All right, I don't want to get Wait. raided. And you don't tell him I the part about that. Yeah, yeah, you just go and talk to a detective about that. All right. I was, uh, pretty good. Why didn't you say that before? I did tell you that before. You wasn't fucking listening to me. Oh. Right, what the hell's your name? Hi, I'm Lexi. Gotcha. Now, when the cops fuck you over, Lexi, all right, you call me and I'll represent you in a court of law for your drug trafficking case, all right? Well, to be honest, if this is all $50 brings me, I'll probably hire a different lawyer. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. what you mean? What the fuck have you done besides, you know? What the fuck have you oh, asked you me to do other than to do something police. that's not my fucking job? I, I told you how to do what it is that you want to do, All right? If but I can't do nothing. I can't. Someone who dealt with contracts and such. Ooh, yeah, yeah. What I, ain't what I, ain't putting, might be. I ain't putting my name on no stitch contract. Are you fucking kidding me? The cops will get us both killed. Why? Are you a pussy or something? It's not that I'm a pussy. It's that I'm an attorney. I I ain't no fucking. Listen, you think I do this for? For the good of humanity? No, I do this to put Fuck money no. in my fucking pocket. I don't give a flip. You flissing. guys make bags? Yeah, I make a couple hundred thousand dollars a day. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, me too on a good day. Hmm. All right, look, yeah. here's what you can do. All right, Lexi, here, here. Let me help you out. How much money you got in the bank right now? I can get about $800,000. No eight, more than have... like one point two. Yeah. All right, listen, here's what you need, all right? I take 15%, all right? I got a fucking safety, I got a deposit account, all right? And what I'll do is, is I'll move, I'll take your money out cash, move it into my deposit account, all right? And then I'll hold on to your cash, but I'm keeping 15%. Let me think about that. All right, but if it's 1.2, I'll do you better, and I'll keep it at uh, 100 grand. Jesus. Person could potentially... Actually, Lexi could potentially be good for me. Let me try calling Cross again. There's Cross. Hey, Cross. I need to... Uh, oh, sorry. Justice Cross. Apologies for uh, not using your mm -hmm. title. I um, was cu curious if I could uh, meet up with you. I need to get a plate change on my Lincoln Continental as well as open up a business account. Uh, yeah, come up to Iron Hog. Wait, do you do you have a business license? Um, I do not have a business license currently, but uh, I can I procure one? Is or is there any documents I got to fill out? Do I talk to you? Got to go through. You got to go through the mayor's office yet? Yeah. Well, can I open up a savings account as a placeholder for my business account in the meantime? The only way I can uh, open up a savings account is if you let me label it embezzlement. 
All right, all right. I'll wait until I talk to the mayor's office. Do I just talk to the mayor about this, or do deputy mayors help me with this? With the yeah, you talk business? to the deputy mayors. I'm sure they could help you out, too. All right, all right. Perfect. And then uh, you can still help me with, with my plate change. Yeah, yeah. Come up to Iron Hog. All right, I'll be. I'll come up there right now. All right, bye. Bye. Oh boy, hey, look at these two lovebirds over here. If it isn't hey, what's uh up, motherfuck? Yeah, if it isn't uh I met you guys yesterday, right? Uh no, I don't believe we met all hey, you look just like these two motherfuckers. Alright, have a good one. You need a lawyer, call me. Yeah, sounds good. Have a good one, sir. I didn't ask if you had someone. What? I said I didn't fucking ask if you already have an attorney. I said if you need an attorney, you call me. And I didn't ask about, you know, what you do for fun. I didn't ask about, you know, what your hobbies are. I didn't ask you if you already have a lawyer. I said if you need one, you call me. I don't need the whole, you know, explanation. I, I didn't ask for it. I have a good day, but also I don't care. Did my ads go down because I logged off? Or did people take, or did somebody take my ads down? Yo, Maze Buzz, thanks for the 10 months, dude. Moist is my favorite word, thanks for the 25 months. Craven, thanks for the five bomb. I love the dialogue on this character. Like, I feel like it's, dude, it's good RP just to be like a scumbag. You'd be surprised, I think people, uh, I never placed it there. I'm pretty sure I did, though. I'm like 100% sure I did. We need to get that uh, Saul Goodman uh, license plate lawyer up. I don't know. I might buy a Porsche. I'm curious. Let's see how much, how much is a fucking Porsche? Um, cars for sale. Hey, Ray. Hey there, uh, Miss Mushkin. This is uh, unrelated to legal business. I was curious if you mm -hmm. had a uh, Porsche available. A Porsche? Yeah, a Porsche. What kind of what kind of Porsche are you thinking? Something two door, sporty, maybe like a Porsche 911. Yeah, I got a Porsche 911 930 with your fucking name on it. How much? Uh, let me check our website here. It's a really classy car. I think it'd fit a perfect. Can I can I come look at it? Of course you can. By the way, do you take payment for your retainer and casino chips? Um, I mean, I can take it however. It's better if we do it. So here's the way I like to do things is it's, uh, I do like a, like a Wenmo transaction or a bank transaction. Sorry. And then I just do like a text message acknowledgement of what that transaction is for with you. So you don't get fucked over. It's just a lot more concrete Hi. than a contract. Cause it, it basically does the exact, it's. It's basically the exact same thing, but like there's no wiggle room Proof. on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's I like hundred percent verification. So uh, Yeah, I, I like to use text to fuck people over in court too. Yeah, I mean, you know, basically all I do is, is add no casino chips here, just uh just a text message uh, just a bank transaction See. would be good for me. Alright, that's fine. Where can I come uh, right, meet cool. you at? Do you know where the six star tuna shop is? Uh yeah, yeah. Located I'll head on, down at the docks. Yeah, I'll head on down to the tuna shop. All right, I'll be down there shortly. All right. I'll all get right. you the car ready. Bye. Bye-bye. The server pop size, right? Ten less. Search cross. Hello. Hey, sorry, sorry, Justice Cross. Um I'm What's I'm up? being a little tied up. I'm I'm going down to actually look at a car right now take, that take I might your time. purchase. Take your time, don't worry about it. Um yes, yeah, so, right, so I'm I for uh, jerking around. Oh, oh perfect. Hi. Right. Take I your have time. Yeah. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Rip the Lincoln? I, I, I want to keep the Lincoln for sure. I mean, I'm going to need a... I'm going to need a loan for this, uh, for this car anyway. So, um... 
in case business falls through. I mean, um, if I take a million dollar loan, I need about a hundred, I need about $70,000 a week. I can easily make the money if I play consistently. Hell, I can easily make more money than, than what I need. Kyle and taking loans, name a better duo. Need a clown card sometimes. Yeah, you do need a clown card sometimes. I like uh, having a little group with me when I do shit. You know? I like having a little group of uh, ruffians that make things interesting. Rash Hero, thanks for the year. Till, thanks for the 18 months. Clyde, thanks for the five months. Appreciate that. G-Wagon, just to fuck with Peach. Nah, G-Wagon doesn't fit Rory. I always... Alright, look, I have an old school take on G-Wagons on No Pixel because G-Wagons, to me, are judge cars. You know? Like, that's uh, that's what a G-Wagon is to me when it comes to No Pixel. They've always been, like, ever since 1.0 and early 2.0, they were judge cars. And I, I just feel like that's, like, the aesthetic that they, uh, they fit. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for a Mary Mushkin. Mary Mushkin, uh, the gentle lady right there on the red hair. Gotcha, gotcha. Nice gun. Oh, look at this pussy. Hey, what's up, pussy? Oh, sorry. Call, you, call, you call me a pussy? Oh, sorry about that. You just kind of look yeah, like... Yeah, that's real, that's real fucking cute coming from some fucking toddler wearing his dad's bathrobe, motherfucker. What do you mean? This is a nice ass robe, but this, 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 yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah, it's, yeah, it's real fucking cute. This is designer. This is designer. Oh yeah, don't don't worry, little guy. What are you five two five three? All right, let me let me just pat you on your head. All right? What is your problem? What the fuck? I, I don't what know. You come at me, call me a pussy. I mean, you can dish it out. You can't take it, motherfucker. I just smelt it. What are you smelt it? Yeah, you probably smelt it from from your from wearing from the underpants you're wearing. Huh? You wearing you wearing your girlfriend's underpants? You smelling some pussy? Um, hey, motherfucker, you ever took the fucking time before, huh, Papo? You gonna fucking disrespect me, Carmen? Huh? You ever had your chain snatched by a fucking attorney and then sued for it, motherfucker? No. I guess it's a first time for fucking everything. You choke me, I'll sue you. How's that sound? You're gonna sue me? You're gonna take it out yeah, of the maybe. streets? We in the streets right now, Papo. We in the fucking we streets. We in the streets. All right, here's my business street, card. There you go. Senior attorney, Royal Bay. You need a lawyer, I'll fight for you. Right, Just remember, you. innocent until right. proven guilty. I don't give a fuck if you did it. I will be right back. Let's go, Junior. All right, cool. This guy is right. definitely not a pussy. What nice I was gentleman. Wrong. What nice gentleman. I like them. Yeah. Those are future clients. They're gonna make me a lot of money. Oh yeah, they definitely will. They go to jail a lot. All right. Here she is, the person 911 930. I don't know if this is really my. Is, is this like uh, what year is this? Uh. Yeah, I don't back really know. Before, back before women had rights, basically, is what this car. I didn't know cause was back it. then. Uh, um. Yeah, hmm. they did. Yeah, I just don't know if this is the type of Porsche for me. I mean, I was I was expecting more of like a Porsche 911 GT3, like maybe like something oh. a little newer. Is that uh? Is yeah, that a vehicle? Unfortunately, those are out of stock, and we're probably not going to be getting any for a very long time. Okay. All right. Well, uh, how much? How, what's the price tag on them? On the night on the GT3? Yeah. Uh it is one point one point eight million dollars and it's two thousand two hundred GD. One point eight million dollars? Yeah. But you know, I do have another Porsche that's a, a really good business car, especially for business lawyers like yourself. Oh perfect, yeah, what is it? The Porsche Panama. Oh yeah, how much is that? Uh, let's see. I think we're selling it for uh nine hundred ninety-five thousand dollars after tax. 
And I, um, maybe I could get a look at that one. Yeah, of course. We'll need to go for a ride. Let me park oh. this car really quick. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I got my Lincoln Continental parked outside. Uh, why don't we leave it something a little bit more classy? Classy? Let me tell you, it's got its historic, yeah. it, it's a historic car. It's got its original engine. 91, it's a classic. Okay. I, I can get what, the historic tags put on it. You know yay. I don't, Wait, like, the, I don't, How I old don't are you? like the big habit of, of car, sitting cars that are older than me. I'm 20 years old. Okay, just checking. All right. What? Why are you checking? No, I, no, no, no reason. I'll be right back. For I'm gonna race it. What do you mean? Oh, I was just making sure, uh, you know, you are of age to work with me. That's all. What's that supposed to mean? Making sure you weren't under 18. I mean, you can't work with children. You know what I mean? Why not? Making sure you... lawyers, lawyers help kids, eh? No, no, no. Lawyers, no, no, no. lawyers don't help children. Lawyers help what, the parents with the children. What if the kids uh, got no parents? You well, then help they help whoever is the guardian. Or if they happen what to be emancipated. Well, if they're emancipated, then they're fine. What if they're not emancipated? What if they're awarded the state, huh? I don't know. I'm not. Listen, there's no money in that shit. I don't work for no orphans. <clears throat> what? So you don't. You hate kids? I wouldn't say I hate kids, but I would just say I don't think there's a. Uh, I don't think there's a market for a child attorney. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Um, I don't think they, they need, there's a need to be met for a children's attorney. Oh, I got you. Well, you're probably right on that one. There's not much to market for that. Exactly. All right, so I'm gonna, we're going to the Mushkin's Motors Warehouse. All right, perfect. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So, are you like a criminal lawyer or like a contract lawyer? Like, what do you specialize in? I do it all. And listen, I have a lot of bozos that I work with and I, I need them protected. Well, that's fine. Perfect. I mean, what are you thinking? Like, protection in terms of what? The dumb shit that they do. So that, um... That, uh... The legal protection. Remember that lady, remember that lady that you got out of the shooting uh, charges? Yeah. Yeah, she's a... She's an employee and associate of mine. Uh, and you really helped out. You know, you really saved her bacon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I even right. got her so gun license back, and we both know she did it. We both know she did it. So... Yeah, it's really impressive that you did that, honestly. Oh, of course, the car wasn't too hard. It's all about building up inconsistencies. Easy. That's all it is. Yeah, one second. I just need to uh, unlist the car for most because my players are used. One second. Take all the time you need. Yeah, I just wrote a very angry email. So basically, um, we have this car and we're selling it on behalf of someone else. But the employee that uh, booked this one didn't actually put the car here because um, he's fucking useless. So unfortunately, I don't actually have the car here to show you. It. That's fine. Maybe what I'll just do is hopefully I can. Uh, you said it was 1.8 for the Porsche 911 GT3. Uh, maybe, maybe down the line, if I offer a million on top, I can get one imported. Yeah, the money isn't really an issue. Oh, well, maybe I could find something else down the line. Who knows? Yeah, listen, that car is one of the most desirable cars that we have. Um, really? Yeah, absolutely. It's got a huge waiting list. Um, everyone wants one. Oh, all right. Well, then I'll uh, abandon hope on that, and I'll try and focus on getting something else. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Maybe a G-Wagon. A G-Wagon. Um, That's not easy to come by. Yeah, how much is some? You got okay. something like that? Uh, I don't have one myself now, but it'd be like 1.2 million. Uh, I have so. I do want something that you want to keep for a long time when you want something that you just want temporarily. I don't know. Maybe an old-style two-door Lamborghini. Nice. Okay. What about an Escalade? An Escalade? 
high. How much? Seven hundred and fifty thousand. It's about two hundred fifty grand cheaper than. You got that down at you got that down at the junior shop, or is that back at your uh, the other place? Back at the other spot. Oh uh, yeah, uh, seven hundred and fifty. Yep. Before tax, or after. After. After tax, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy to get a loan on this one too. Yeah. If you needed one. Yeah, perfect. That's always good to build, get a loan. You always need to establish credit. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, one second. Yeah, you take hey. your time. Yo, oh, Jeremy Show, thanks a, for the four the months of Prime. Oh, Escalade? A Cadillac Escalade. Or the fucking yeah, Lambo it's, SUV. You gotta give it Daddy that it's the car for you. Ooh, so. what's that called? What's the Lamborghini SUV? What's that thing called? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, he's he's not a street anymore, you know. He's way too posh. Yeah, I appreciate you, Tiba. Bye. You got any Lamborghini Urises? Uh, no, but we do have a car that's similar to it. We have the Taurus. It's basically the Wish.com version. That's not good for me, dude. It's not good look for me driving yeah. around the Wish.com version much, or something. How much money do you have, Mr. Brandon? You strike me as the rich, uh, rich kind of guy. Uh, over the last two days, I've made about $200,000, so I'm not slowing not down bad. anytime soon. What do you think about this car? Beautiful car. Yeah, so you're interested in. How much is it? Uh, nine million dollars. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I could get a loan for nine million, and I'm, even with if I was to fucking work like a goddamn dog, I don't think I could uh, pay off nine million dollars in a fifteen month uh, period, a fifteen week I period. Got you. With uh, okay, I'm just being, I'm just being it. honest. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's I'm, good, a, I'm a lawyer. I'm not normally honest. honest, but when it comes to that, I'll be honest. Yeah. So here she is. That's clean. This is actually uh, my personal protection detail car. I have my security team load up in this and follow me around. Damn, how well, many yeah, is... B-Class, like I said, 250 grand cheap for the PDM. Damn. Is it okay if I take a look inside? Absolutely. I like the, the nice, I like, I like the wood. I really like the wood in there. Does it have the overhead? You know what I mean? Where it's like, it's like uh, the overhead display where you can like, it's crazy for when you're reversing. Uh, Looks like it does. Oh, perfect. Checks out. What do you mean the overhead display? You Are ever you seen like in your rear view mirror? No, no, no. You know, you don't know about the overhead display. It's like, it's like crazy. It's like, basically it's a top down view of your car. Uh -huh. And oh. it 3D maps everything around you. It's it's amazing. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Technology no, I don't believe this ha it has this. This is a, a 2018, I believe. It's just before Super Cruise and all that stuff. But it does have TVs in the back seat. Ooh, all right. As you can see, the back there is some pretty dope TVs. Let me pop over to the door space. Yeah, yeah, pop them. You got any uh, Mercedes? What kind of Mercedes do you think it is? I'm thinking any type of four-door Mercedes, maybe even a two-door AMG. Uh, I could get you one. They're about two, two point two million dollars for an AMG, the Black Series. Point two million. Yeah, two point two. Yeah. I'd have to go find some of that stuff and get and buy it off them. You know, how about this? Um, how about I uh. <laughs> You don't have to go buy. I mean, I would imagine if you bought something like that, you could flip it easy anyway, right? No, not really. They're very difficult to sell. The thing is, a lot of the people that buy these cars, they don't really buy them for the cars themselves, right? So, uh, for example, like the, the Escalade's a wonderful car. It's super luxurious, right? But they, people don't really care about that. They just care about how it performs. They an Aston Martin? Like an Aston, Aston Martin, Martin Vanquish. Uh, I have uh, the Wish.com version of that, a 770. Nah, not interested in that. Not interested not in that. You. Okay. Maybe I should I check out your website and judge. save you the trouble, huh? Uh, not really. I mean, I have plenty of stuff I could show you. I could be here all day, to be honest with you. Um, 
not sure, you know. So are you looking for racing performance? Are you looking for speed? Do you want oh, to God. I mean, class? it's here's the thing. It's, you know, a lot of times, like, luxury and sport kind of go hand in hand, right? It's also about uh -huh. a, being a symbol. You know, that's why I really like the Porsche 911 GT3. I used to have one, but uh, I yeah. won't talk about that. Um, but. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I, you need a car that's kind of like a status symbol. Yeah. You no. Know? I think a Lamborghini yeah. Urus would be uh, pretty relatively nice, but that, that's too expensive, ain't it? Uh, uh, it's not that expensive. We can't, like I said, we can't. We have the. Uh, let me show you. Let's go to the tater shop. All right. Hope I'm not uh, holding you up from your job. Yeah, this is my job. Oh, I typically right. have my salespeople do it, but I don't mind doing it myself. Mm. Hey, perfect. I mean, I do love my Lincoln Continental. Uh, it's a very nice car, but I'll be honest with you. Uh, you know, it really screams. Uh, I just graduated law school, and I'm trying to find some jobs to make Oh, no, money. no. Let me tell you something. That's a historic car right there. That car has a history. Right? Oh, really? That car... That car's been through that, that that car's been through so much legal stuff that it it literally you don't put gas in it, you put legal advice. You walk up to it and you say, yeah. "Hey, I think what you should do is say this, that, you know, remember plead the fifth on this," and then it just it goes. It's like magic. It's magic. The magical ride. Oh, okay. I like magic. Modify the Lincoln. No, you should. Do you know any magic? No, I'm not a street magician, but I have. I have, used to hang out with David Blaine and Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire. Who are those guys? Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, I won't worry about it then. Excuse me. Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. You're good to go. Come on, you're the best. I can't wait to know you. Hello. Hello. What'd you say, Mary? All right, here she is. The Taurus. Yeah, how, the Taurus? I mean, this is a Lamborghini. Yeah. No. no, it's not. I told, like I said, we don't have a Taurus in the city. Is it legal this is the closest thing you can get to it. Oh, it's how, all, yeah. How much is this? It's from a Chinese manufacturer. It's basically a knockoff version of it, you know? It's all wheel with a rear wheel bias. It's all right, uh, could we, uh, 750 after tax. All right, could we, could we pull off the fucking decals on this and just put Lamborghini on it and just move on? No, that's well, illegal. I uh, what's illegal about it? All I'm saying Very is common. we just we just take the we just take the decals off. You could do that. I don't know how to do that. I, I don't even know how to change a fucking tire. All right. So what you do is you take some you take some either fishing line or some floss, and then you you heat up the area. You can use either hot water or you could use a, a heater, right? And then you very carefully take the floss and you go oh, down the badge black. after marking its location with some tape. And then I think I want a Urus. Uh, adhesive on the new one. You just put it there. Mm -hmm. right, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I want. I think I want a Urus. How much is an actual Urus? Yeah. Uh, there is no price on it because, like I said, we can't get you one. All right. What about like some type of? I mean, do you have any Lamborghini like uh, two door sport cars under a million, under a million five? Oh, that's fine. You ask you what, Mr. Banyan. Look, I hope look. you understand that the Lamborghini that I drive costs three point two million dollars. Look, look, I'm, I listen. You know, my apologies. You know, I'm just trying to understand the car. I was just asking if you had something like that. I wasn't being demanding. I was just asking if you oh, had okay. it. Uh, no, unfortunately, we don't. The thing is, a lot of the cars that we sell here um, are the cheapest, but it's very hard to get approved for them. So, if you're looking for like a, do you like BMW? I like BMWs. I like Mercedes. I, I love all those cars. What do you think about the M5? It's a nice car. It is what's, nice, isn't it? What's the price tag on this? Uh, this is probably our most expensive one. This is a four-seater. Um, it was very recently imported to the city. Uh, we have a couple of them in stock. It's an M5. We currently have uh, three of them, and it's $1.75 million. All right, how about this? 
One point seven yeah. die. How about we knock it out to one point four seven five? There's absolutely no room for negotiation on the price. Wait, there's no the room for negotiation. It's a car dealership. How is no. there no room for negotiations? Because this is a seller's market, not a buyer's market. What's it? I, 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 all right, all right, all right. What I that means that is I can sense. sell this yeah. car for two and a half I know, I know, I, I know, I know. That. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Price is the price. And, you know, you can either take it or you can leave it. Now, if you're buying a car from me, there's a little bit more room for negotiation. But from the tuner shop, absolutely none. How about uh, how about we go. test drive this? How about we test drive it? Sure. You need me to get your door. I'm a gentleman. Uh, no, it's fine. Don't you worry about that. All right, here you go. Here's the it's... keys. It's a push button to start. You want to fix on this, Adam? I think this is the car. Save the money and go Cadillac. So this car is really nice. Um, it's got a lot of luxurious features. As you can see, if you look on the dash, it's got the new style BMW dash. It's the 21 model. So there's another M5 in the city, but this one's the, the updated version of it. I'm liking this car. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So you just got this? Yeah, we just got it last month. 1.75 non-negotiable. You know, if I take yep. a loan, on 1.75 okay. yeah I, I hopefully I can get a rate that's under at least fucking 15 percent absolutely you can so I work consistently with fast loans and what we can do is we can do up to a million dollar loan at 10 percent interest rate and we can go up to 25 weeks so that roughly puts your payments in the 50 to 70 thousand dollars a week range I don't know what's a better lawyer car how is Thing is, you also need to have the seven hundred fifty-five thousand in cash up front plus the GNE. Plus the GNE. Now, what is uh, yes. what's GNE exactly? I how do I get that? Cryptocurrency. The how blockchain. I... The way of the future, man. I, well, how do I get crypto? Non-decentralized, uh, on the blockchain, uh, cryptocurrency that can't be tracked by the government, man. Huh. It's the fucking way of the future. Aye, right, well, how do I get that? Oh, you can just buy it on Twitter. Well, how much would I need? Uh, well, it depends if you're willing to bargain hunt. If you're buying at market price, it's a lot. But if you're bargain hunting, um, you so you mean to tell me I spend 1.75 million on the car and then I still need to get G and E? Uh, yeah. Well, there's two currencies that you need to pay for the car, and it's both it's US dollars and G and E. Because we have specific requirements from our importers that we get the price from. So it's two hundred fifty thousand dollars in GE. So you're basically looking at two million dollars. They're they're about to get this guy. Two million dollars. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. But then I can just get the Escalade from you for seven fifty. Yep, you could. You have to remember, you know, you're paying for a lot of different things when you get a car like this. You're paying for the exclusivity. You're paying for the speed, it's performance, it's utility. This is a five-seater, I believe. Um, it's also a sedan, so it's got larger uh, cubic feet storage in the back. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that go into a vehicle's price. That Porsche, that example, for example, I showed you the $9 million car, uh, that's so expensive because it's the only one in the city. The very rare exclusive collector's cars. All right, all right. Um... All right. I think you could hold the Escalade for me while I think. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to hold it, but... What if I... I... Just... Uh, is Listen, any, I usually take, any, any I usually wiggle take a room. reserve, you know. I usually take a reserve where people... Any, any wiggle room, room on the Escalade at all? Like 675? Make it offer. I'll give you 700. Uh, how, about we, how about we call this an, ev an even 685? Uh, 685 and I only paid 20 grand for a retainer. 700 and you pay me 100k retainer. That's a scam. It's not a scam because uh, didn't you said you wanted I to be my top more. my top client. I paid more than what I was going to pay you and I get less for the kite. All right, how about we just take the retainer and we uh and I just need a little bit to think about the car. Sure, it's fine. I don't think it's uh, thinking about it, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a beautiful car. I, I just don't know. It's a, this is a, I don't know if this is a type of car for me. 
Yeah, I have a hard it time is a seeing you drivers car. around, Mr. Banyan. Yeah, I mean, if this was like an M3 or something, I, I think I'd like I'd like it, but oh, this is too what futuristic. What kind of M3 are you talking about? I don't know, cause I just I just said a random one. I don't even know what an M3 looks like, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I got you. I understand. Well, it's a it's better. Mind. Don't worry about. It. Thing goes fast. Yeah, it is way really fast, isn't it? You all right? You sound like you're a little sick. You're a little nasally. Oh uh, yeah, I'm very sick, man. Yeah, you sound like you need to blow your nose. I can't blow my nose. It's, my sinuses are fucking. You know when like they're all swollen and stuff. Oh and yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, you're not like your your nose is clogged, but your brain is like stuck. It's hard to explain. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, yeah, of course yeah. I know. I got I got so drunk I drank half of a Mike's Hard Lemonade last night. Oh damn, half of a Mike's yeah, Hard Lemonade. Over. Someone's someone's yeah. partying. Yeah, it was really creepy, dude. Someone's... I almost got blackout drunk. Damn. All right. Well, someone's been partying. I mean, you, you know, it's you know, you're drinking at 20. That's a that's a that's a bad move. That's a bad move for your brain development. I'm already developed as I ever could be. I'm one of the smartest people in the city. Listen, Mr. Benjamin, I'm worth over 30 million dollars, and I own three successful businesses. I. Oh, fantastic! You know, I love to hear that. I'm, you know, I'm I'm happy for your success. Yeah, well, my success is your success, I. Right? Oh, yeah, it is, especially when you go into the courtroom and I fucking destroy everybody that goes against you because they're all fucking stupid. Now, let me tell exactly. you one thing about these lawyers that's different than me, all right? A lot of these lawyers, Mary, they go in there, they read a couple fucking... They do a little research in their fucking lawyer books. They come in with some fucking case laws that are bullshit. But when you get their clients on the fucking stand, they fall apart. All you do is you go at the lawyer's neck in the courtroom. He doesn't know what to fucking do because he's never had someone approach him like that. I mean, did you see that cop the other day? That cop the other day was losing his shit. Yeah, you're fucking amazing. Listen, I, I wish I had a lawyer like you a year ago. When I got a uh, when I got arrested on illegal charges, you know, I had a basically the cops took pictures of someone um, that was wearing like a, an outfit and was racing, and then they found me and I had similar looking hair to her. So what they did is they put me in handcuffs and they took me to the police department and they dressed me up like her and took pictures of me, and then uh, they took me to the a bench trial. And my lawyer didn't even try to argue any of it. He didn't do anything. Oh, about I could have gotten you. Process. Listen, I tell you this is off based off what you're saying. All right, I could have 100 percent got you out of there in a court case against those fuckers for that shit. Yeah, I know. But the worst part is, after that, uh, they took me to a bench trial, and the the officer didn't even testify against me. He literally just got up on the stand and said, "Your Honor, my testimony is the same as the previous bench trial." And then he sat down, and the the judge accepted it, and they found me guilty within five minutes of being. being First off, that judge is an idiot, and second off, that's not how court works. <laughs> Because you have, you have the right to hear the testimony. You know what I mean? So you literally could have had a, a case against the judge. You yep. could have had a case against the cop. You could have had a case against the department. You know, you could have mm -hmm. had three court cases lined up from that. That all would have been fucking uh, uh, yeah. steamrolled in it. But you want to hear the any... worst part about it? Well, tell me. It gets worse. So, you know how one of the grounds for appeal is either missing evidence or, or incompetence and things like that, right? Yeah. So I filed an appeal with another actually competent lawyer, and the judge denied the appeal, saying my lawyer was too incompetent, um, and I should have known better than to use an incompetent lawyer. And then they, they denied my appeal, and they wouldn't let me try and actually uh, contest the charges at all. Now, whoever did that to you did you a real disservice. That's uh, yeah, one of, that's probably one of the worst things. Yeah, 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 that's uh, probably one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah, like the, I'm, you can actually go find it on the docket. It's still there. The, the reasoning is basically, yeah, your lawyer was so incompetent that you're fucked, basically. So have a good one. Doesn't sound, that, that doesn't sound, uh, it doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard you should go before. Find it. You should go find it and read it. It's yeah, I'll, uh, a, I'll read it. Just over a year ago. Yeah, I'll read it. I'll, I'll pull the, it up and I'll read it. Mary Mushkin or something, I don't know. So, um, you By said way, you wanted. By the way, that was put in the garage if you want to take a look at it. The Panamera. What? The Panamera? Eh, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna relax on cars. I need to build. I I don't want to take. I'd rather pay cash than anything. If I'm being honest with you, um, but here's the thing. If you want to be my biggest client, right, my number one client, right. So basically, mm -hmm. this here's what I do, right. Uh, normally I just do fifteen hundred dollars down for retainer, you know, uh, 
those are pretty much my like my bottom dollar clients. It really depends on the case that they present for me. Okay. Okay. And you know, I mean, I'll do any workload. I do charge like uh, for those people like five hundred dollars an hour for a consultation, and then mm -hmm. uh, court fees normally are around thirty to forty percent on them. Um, now I have another high cl uh, high profile client. I only take I, uh, basically retainers, uh, all that stuff with the money that he put down. I only take ten percent of court fees. You know, and he, and they don't get charged for consultations. You know, it's I always have time for my top top dogs. So if Sorry. you want to be one of my top dogs or my top is dog, it's sixty thousand dollars for the retainer. Yeah, that's fine. I so uh, I, it's not just protection for myself that I'm buying. Uh, I believe in full transparency with my lawyers. Uh, so if I give you Dar, that gives the attorney-client privilege, right? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if you I have a lot of things I need to tell you about. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it gives me, that gives you, you and me, no one's going to know anything that we, uh, look, I always have attorney-client privilege, no matter who they are. I'm not one of these uh, dumb fucking attorneys that goes around sp spending, the, you know, just fucking talking all around town. You know, I'm a talker, but there's certain things I just, I just keep to myself and I don't say. Good, good, good. That's very good to hear. But it's here's the thing, if you want to draw up some contracts for your business, like if you want me to uh, look out for them, all right, my, my retainer is yeah. so low, right? All they got to do is just give me the, you just tell them to give me the 1500 it'll cover everything. The 60000 yeah. is for you. Don't worry. Right? I already have a contract lawyer for my businesses. I need you for criminal defense. Perfect. All right, I can and handle all that. And also for litigation against uh, anyone that goes against me. Perfect. So All right. litigation and criminal defense is the main thing I'm looking for you at you for. It. Done. Done. Great. Where do you want? Where do you want me to send the money to? You can just send it to. Uh, here, here's my uh, my state ID is going to be five three four seven five three a, uh, four seven. It'd be a little bit better if you had a um a bank account number I could send it to. Because oh, gotcha. Yeah. My company. Six one seven two five zero one two. Six one seven two five zero one two. Yep, six one seven two five zero one two. All right, I just sent you sixty thousand dollars from my com one of my company accounts. All right, perfect. Yeah, I just got that. All right, I look forward to doing business with you. Let me know if uh, you let me know. You just give me a call whenever you want to sit down. You let me know. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, go work are you free on. Right now, or are you? Uh, I am free right now, actually. Yeah, I am free. Why don't we go to my office? All right, perfect. Is there a specific car you want to take? I oh, know we can take whatever car. Is there any car that you that we have that you fancy or you can drive? Ah, uh, no, whatever whatever car you want to take is fine by me. You want to drive this? Yeah, yeah, I'll drive this. Okay. Sorry, I'll be back in a bit. Mm. Well, right, come so after me. Where's your where office the server at? center is. Yeah, I know where the server center is. Yeah, we can go there. Yeah, Tuna so, Shop seems like it's pretty busy. Yeah, it's a very busy place. Um, I'm the only one that is actually around to run it. We have four different executives. Um, Eddie Marshall is supposed to be the owner and operator, but he's uh, basically taking a huge step back and I've been doing all the work. Okay, all right. Yeah, it doesn't pay that great, but I, I have a really big love for the place. You know, my, my independent car company is what makes me, uh, most of my money is well as my oil company. Yeah, I would imagine, because when you're selling, uh, you know, first off, when you have as many partners as you do working at that tuna shop, from what it sounds, and you're selling, like, vehicles that you don't own outright, you know, you, you make a lot less money. Yeah. That's very true. There's a lot of hands for that money to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of filters. A lot of people got to get that cash. Yeah. You know, for example, you would think selling like a, a Lamborghini for $2 million that I would make a, a lot of money, right? And you'd yeah. think I'd make like a hundred grand, but in actuality, I make closer to 40 to 50 grand. So you don't even, you make less than 5%? Yep. That's Actually, good baffles me. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's I would because, imagine. Uh, the owner, listen, the owner actually believes in uh, staying street, okay? He's a, he's basically a rich man in denial that he still has roots with the common folk, you know? 
So he yeah. likes to basically throw all of his money away so he can pretend that he's not rich. I would say it's I, the most I, strange I, thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Sometimes you gotta admit who you are. Exactly. He bought a mansion up in the Vinewood Hills, um, and then he sold it not because he didn't like it, but because he wanted to go live with a bunch of gangbangers. Did you leave that? Why the fuck a, would you a do nice, that? A nice, cozy, comfy mansion with hey, the girlfriends. He just turned left, okay? Who and, did that? And instead of the type banger, he fucking sells his fucking mansion. Where's the, uh, where do you park around here? Or just, right uh, here on the right side. Right. The, the stairs on the right. I don't know if it's locked or not, though. It might be. Maybe he's just having a midlife crisis. Uh, it is possible. He's like 32 years old. He's my uncle. Uncle Eddie. Uncle Eddie, huh? Sorry. Nah, I don't, I don't believe I ever have, no. Oh. Well, He's a grumpy old miserable bastard. He's a, he's the kind of guy that doesn't like it when he owes people anything. Uh, cause he doesn't like having friends, you know? <laughs> Holy we're, shit. we're going through a rough patch right now. He it sounds like uh, it. It sounds like he, it. Uh, he basically, you know, Mr. Bannon, if you had a business partner, would you ever like publicly spit on their face against a uh, competing company? While you're in negotiations with them? No, because that's not good business. You spit on exactly. the other guy's face. But that's what he decided to do. Unless the partner's an idiot. Unless they're trying to... Unless they mix in feelings, like uh, emotions with business. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, I understand. All right, so take the elevator. It's called Mushkin's Motors. It'll be in the uh, K to O category. Uh, you can just go ahead and visit it, all right? Gotcha. reason my media keys on my stream p on my gaming pc ain't working nobody uses these offices huh welcome this is our office for now i'm gonna probably get it uh renovated to look a little bit more professional soon that's fine i'm probably going to be establishing before i get a car probably establishing my own law office yeah you should definitely do that all right so i'm gonna keep it with you straight mr abandoning okay all right go ahead I'm not just some businesswoman, okay, that makes money selling cars. I mean, that is, that is what I do, right? I could tell but by I'm the also, samurai sword. Yeah, I'm also an, uh, basically an international terrorist, okay? Oh, perfect. And, I, and I work on behalf of an international terrorist as well. Perfect. I love international terrorism. I mean, that's a lot of, that's a lot of good cases for me. Right. Have you ever heard of a... Uh, you... Okay. So that client that you're working with, Miss Isabella... You even look, remember the jacket that she had on in the katana? Yeah, it came up during the trial. It came up several times as an uh, article for her description, a yokai jacket. Mm -hmm. Yep, the yokai jacket. So I'm the leader of yokai. It's my racing crew. And we work on behalf of, of an international terrorist. All right, I won't ask, uh, I won't ask any questions. Listen, I got your back. I'll, listen, I don't give a fuck what you do. You're my client. I will fight tooth and nail. One of my partners is calling me. I'll tell him to call me back sure. later. Of course, it's fine. All right, there we go. Sorry about the interruption. You're fine. So the reason that I mentioned this is I think it's very important that you have the full context of what's going on and uh, what exactly I do so that you can best protect myself and my interests. All right. So... One of the most important things that those members do is they do everything in the power to make sure that I don't get caught by the police. I have a very big problem that I need help with. What's that? So the reason that she shot that cop that day is because I was in a street racing tournament and my car was caught by the police with this katana inside of it. And she shot the police to distract them so that I could get away. I got gotcha. you. That's that a good soldier. She is very good. She's one of my best. She's, she's amazing at her job. But obviously, it's a very big issue to have your name attached to something like this. So the way it works in the racing scene is everyone has an alias that they go by, right? Like almost like a persona that they yeah. put on. And uh, the alias that I have is Shinigami. Right? The police do, are trying to do everything that they can to catch her. 
they put a massive bouncy on her head and every time they see her they'll immediately pull out uh, as many interceptors as they can muster together as many cbpis and they'll do everything in their power to get her into custody basically it's an all hands on deck yes y you'll uh they'll bring about as many units to uh, uh chase against me as they will to a police shooting and so with that obviously comes with a lot of risk and there comes a lot of risk for me and my businesses and my interests if they were to ever to catch me now the problem that i have as you can imagine is uh this person was just driving one of my cars with my name on it in addition to that uh they had one of my katanas that the police are aware of uh that is one of my katanas inside of it so you can connect the dots right yeah yeah you can connect the dots but they still can't prove nothing they can't prove nothing but it means that they're going to ramp up the surveillance on me and the pressure well it also means if they would uh, uh if this was to happen a couple times i mean they could argue in a court of law that they have enough circumstantial evidence possibly for some type of a conviction as well absolutely absolutely you're right which is the biggest concern but it gets worse so the puppets uh, have been contacting me and they've been calling me from burner phones, right? And to try and cover that up, I had to make up a story with the police. And I told them that I was under threat from them, which is believable because it's, it's true. And in the past, it's been true as well when I've been arrested for a similar incident, right? So unfortunately, I had to tell the police that the puppets have been giving me weapons to try and kill them with. And I had to keep turning in weapons to make the story more believable. I got the perfect plan for you. What's that? What you need to do is you need to dissuade them a little bit, okay? You need to get them to kind of give a, a sense of false trust, all right? Okay. I mean, I would imagine that someone with, with your money, someone with your influence, could easily line up someone to be kind of like a fall guy uh, puppet, so to speak. All right, what you could do is you could kind of get someone to get a, get them a burner phone, get them to give you some calls, all right, over the span of like a few weeks, all right, fill their uh, apartment up with uh, some stuff. Make sure they kind of keep a clean, make sure they kind of clean because it's much more, it'll look much more believable, but also make sure that they're going to admit guilt to everything. So you set up this fall guy, you get them to kind of trust you by kind of giving them this fall guy, you pay the guy off in some way shape or form or another have someone one of your associates pay them off for you and then mm -hmm. there won't really be a hundred percent enough for a conviction of them but they'll have this guy in custody for a bit they'll try and question him and stuff like that you know hopefully if it's a good uh a good little guy he won't crack under any type of pressure because he knows what he's being paid for you know and then bam that's are simple saying, are you saying that i should pay someone to pretend to be uh the person that's contacting me a hundred percent well yeah a hundred percent i mean and if you help them get that person i mean that would probably be good for them that would probably be good for you so i mean it might it, it might actually the way i'm thinking about it right now is uh if you kind of have like the guise of cooperation with the police and you kind of help them make like a uh, significant arrest, right? They might be more inclined to kind of believe some of your stories. And what I would do is, is I would use that kind of stuff potentially, you know, in the back room off the record, of course, to say, you know, my client, she's helped you in the past and you're accusing her of, the, of terrorism. How dare you? Where do you get off? Yeah, I understand. So that's try that's sort of the angle that I'm playing, but there's a little snag in the plan. What's the snag? See, the thing is, they know who he is, so there's no way I can pretend that he's someone else. I can't just dress someone up that I trust. They know they who he is, but maybe this yeah, guy just maybe this guy just happens to work for him. Everybody has foot soldiers. I'm sure they're aware of that. Ain't nobody yeah, but, a one man gang around here. You're right. But the problem is, I'm not necessarily so concerned about that because the police are aware that these guys contact me and harass me, right? As far as from what I've told them, uh, I'm just an innocent victim that's being contacted and being forced uh, with the threat of death to do things against them, right? The problem comes in uh, what I've told them, okay? 
I told them that they were supplying me with bombs, and if I didn't use them against the police, then they would kill me. And uh, I've already told them that I want to turn the weapons in. Because I do have some bombs that I can give them to, again, lend credence to the story. So I'm already locked in to an angle. Might actually, it, it might actually hurt you, though. That's the only issue with this angle that you're trying to play, right? You're giving them stuff, right? But you're giving yeah. them just enough to kind of be suspicious of you. You're not really giving them enough for, for anything other than that. I mean, I could go shoot a cop right now and say, hey, this guy robbed me and uh, he left his gun and I saw him put a gun in a fucking garbage bin. You know, they, they're they yeah. still going to be highly suspicious of me. You know what I mean? I, I mean, uh, it's a... Uh, the it's a is, though, it's a difficult game right there. There's context that might make this one work, right? Because in the past, I've actually been forced again to do stuff. Uh, I haven't told you about this, but six months ago, uh, I had to RPG nine different police officers. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I got caught for it. They shot me down, as you can imagine. Um, I survived the hospital trip, and they took me to interrogation, and uh, the angle was the same, and it worked. Uh, and then they disappeared. I didn't get contact with these guys for months, right? But the thing is, uh, I think based off what the police could get, that this angle will work just great. Because they, um, they if they subpoena my phone, they will see uh, this, these puppets contacting me, and it will line up pretty neatly with the story that I spun them. Perfect. All right, let but me tell you something. The problem whatever, is... Whatever you want to do, I can work with, all right? Okay. Okay, good. But I think the more you understand about the situation, the better you can. Yeah, yeah. You keep right? telling me. You keep telling me everything. So I do have some concerns that maybe you could think through, um, and maybe you could give me some advice on. So the Perfect. first one I'm listening. is the Mushkins Motors garage that I pulled the car out from has recordings of who pulled the vehicle out, right? So if the police were to dig into that and they were to subpoena that information then they would see that this, the, the hurricane that they caught from that shoe race was retrieved by me about 30 to 40 minutes before they caught it, basically, right? And there would be uh, essentially no paper trail between uh, where that car ended up from me getting out to this Shinigami person driving it, right? And so what I told them was that uh, the, the, the puppets, that there's multiple of them, um, and again, the information that I'm giving them is half truth, right? Like the people that I'm mentioning in these stories are real. The contact that they're having with me is real. Their intentions and what they're saying are not. I was never told to actually pipe on them, obviously, as you can imagine, right? Anyways, so I told them that they kidnapped me and stole my car so that they could take me to a discreet location and give me instructions and give me weapons. Um, and then they gave me another car to actually uh, do the, the, the deed in. And what they were basically wanting me to do was to street race so that I could bait out the cops and then blow them up. And the reason I think that this story works is after, uh, after I told them that, uh, throughout the rest of the day, if any police interceptors saw a race, uh, they would actually run away from it. Uh, like once one police interceptor actually crashed into me during a race and he immediately turned his lights on and, and drove the other way, basically. He was trying to get away instead of chasing like we were before. So... I think for now it's worked, but the problem is I told the story to one of the most gullible members of the police department, Jerry. And once this story gets back to Snow, I don't know if it's going to be working much longer. You understand? Yeah, I understand. So I need to make it concrete, and I need to make the timeline work with the car. It's a really difficult situation. It is a difficult situation, but here's the thing, right? Can they essentially prove the timeline down to the exact seconds? I can argue that in the court of law pretty fucking easily that they can't. Yeah, you could do that. Wait, one second. Hey, is this important? I'm in the middle of a meeting right now. Say, so, uh, I haven't talked to him since the hospital. Is he still cooked? Yeah. 
yeah, he thinks I'm so stripper at the Vanilla Unicorn, which I mean, I technically am, but he's, he's not right. That guy, yeah, I haven't talked to him. I'll try and contact him soon now. Okay. All right, take care. Bye. Sorry, my apologies. My uncle got brain damage and he's dead now. Wait, uh, Uncle Eddie? Uh, uncle Tommy. I have a lot of uncles. I also have Uncle Rob, Rami and Uncle Robert Loxley. And Uncle Marlo, too. Hey, is this important? Huh. I'm in a meeting right now. All right, bye. My apologies. My phone goes off a lot. Well, you can call me Uncle Rory. Uncle, uncle Rory, Rory O'Banion. I have a new uncle. Yep. All right, okay. Uncle Rory, then. Yep, Uncle Rory. I got the best uncle now. Someone who's smart and actually cares. Yeah. I'll be there oh, for uh, you whenever you need me. Hell yeah. Well... Do you have any ideas or my fuck? Hard to say because my ideas are based off of what, not what you have, but what they have. They being the cops. All right. right. Here's the thing that I can tell you. See, so my main strategy is to discredit as much and get as much discrepancy and uh, conflicted information out of the opposition as possible. Now, the judges take note of all this. They'll note all the confliction that I can get that up. One guy saying it happened at 6 o'clock. Another guy says maybe it happened at 6.15. Maybe it happened at 7. You know, the more they don't realize that the more people that they get involved in their court cases, more people that I can get to slip up on their words in front of a judge. That's true. That's a good point. So, basically, it doesn't really... So, whatever you've done, you've already done. Okay? There's not really too much that I can really do about that. All I got to hope for is that when it comes time to show down in a court of law, that me and the legal team that I have can uh, throw them off a bit. You know, right now I'm currently working with uh, Jordan Steele and uh, Bill Mays. You familiar with either one of them? Yeah, isn't Bill Mays the guy that wears the helmet because he has brain damage? He wears an eye patch. I'm, I, I, I've, I haven't oh. seen him with the helmet on. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of someone else then. Could be. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with them, though. No. That's good. Okay. One more concern. What's that? that? You can think through. I obviously don't expect you to have answers now, but it's something to consider. Uh, the only thing that I'm worried about this angle that might burn me is I told the police that I was supplied with a pipe bomb and that I currently had in my possession and, and I wanted to give it to them. So that I didn't have to use it, right? Give it to them uh, as soon as possible. Don't give them a fucking reason to build a raid warrant around you. Exactly. That's my concern is he told me that he called me back and that he didn't want me to give it to him yet. Nope. Nope. You give it to them immediately. That way they have no, okay. uh, they have no reason for a seizure. They have no reason okay. to go into your place. Trust me. Exactly. So... So do you okay? Do you think I should do it alone, or do you think you should come with me? I could uh, I could procure that for you if you if you desire, but it might be better given the relationship that you currently have, possibly mm -hmm. for you to do it alone. But also, I would okay. be interested in hearing what they say to you and the, and how they're talking to you. So maybe okay. you do it, and I'll just be with you. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Should I call them now? Because we could do it now. Yeah, I mean, uh, it might be best. It might be best. The sooner, the better in this in this circumstance, I believe. All right. Because here's the thing, it. right? You could call someone and mm -hmm. tell them that, and a scumbag cop could easily get a search and seizure, not only on your, uh, most likely just on your home, but they would lock down all your businesses. They would lock down mm -hmm. where they would lock down wherever to find this pipe bomb. Chances are they're going to find more, and then they're going to establish other warrants for more PC. Listen, to go into if other they places. They me. I'm going in for the nine. Do you understand? Exactly. That's why we got to take care of this now. All right. Well, I'm going to call them then. I don't want to delay any further. Perfect. Don't give them reason to build up anything on you. The second that pipe bomb's in their custody, they have no reason to search and seize you, as far as we know. Understand. 
It might be a bit busy right now. I mean, I could just go turn it in at the Mission Row Weapons drop box. But I'd rather no, give it to them. Directly. You need to give it to them personally so that they know. All right, you need to have witnesses. That way, if a search and seizure get, was to get signed off, I could, I could fight that right now and then. Got you. Okay. You didn't answer. Who'd you try calling? Uh, the cop that I've been having direct contact with, Gary. Okay. Any other cops you have contact with that you could maybe give that to? I could try Snow. Snow's directly involved with the situation. He's probably been briefed on it. You think I should risk it? Um. I honestly, I'm on the fence. He'll I don't find know. out either way. He will find out either way. He will. Is he the type of cop that would use that information against you to try and get a warrant? He might. It's possible. What would you say uh, the, the likelihood last, is? He's, he's the cop that dressed me up and took pictures of me and Mission Joe. Maybe he's try calling Fury real quick. Maybe try calling Fury again. All right. I'll call him again. Yeah, maybe try calling him again. Just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe I should do that. It, the thing is, he's part of the street racing unit, so he might be chasing street racers right now. Because there's, uh, there's people talking on Twitter about races. Normally, yeah, in, a, no go. in a lot of other circumstances, what I would do normally is I would just take the, the item from you and give it to them. But I think in right. this circumstance, it's better for you to do it directly with whoever your contact is. Whoever's working the investigation, rather. That's what your contact's right. doing. They're working on you. Yeah, I understand. Listen, how likely do you think it is that they could pin the terrorism from the puppet master on me? Doesn't sound too likely. Sounds like they got a lot of circumstantial evidence, but no really direct, nothing really too direct. At least nothing that happened within the statute of limitations. Um, yeah. I think I think you're pretty much in the clear. I could fight this pretty easily. I'm not too worried That's about good. it. The problem is, I have a couple of problems, right? Tell me more. First one, I don't have a statute of limitations. Okay, then. Well, uh, that's a little different. Um, huh. Gotcha. Uh, so... Hold on, I'm thinking here, I'm thinking here. Um, I can still fight it pretty easily, I think. You think so? Hmm. Okay, second problem. That. Every single crime that I've ever committed has been in a completely identifiable car as well as a completely identical outfit that I claim to be uh, mine. Mine being the persona. So theoretically, if they got pictures of me, they could slam me with 30 street racing charges. Do you fight that? Yeah. All right. And lastly, where <laughs> they should they arrest me and should they uh, be doing anything stupid? Could you organize uh, at least a few of my crew members to get some weapons so that they can raid hell on the police department? Yeah, yeah, I you can. Uh, I got, I got some, I got him. some quarters for a payphone. <laughs> That's good. You remember Izzy, right? Do you have her phone number? Uh, no, I do not have Miss Carrington's phone number. All right, I'm gonna give you three points of contact. They're probably your most likely ones that you'll be able to get in contact with. Gotcha. I'm Should ready for the numbers now. Okay. All right, I'll give you them one by one. The first one is Adam Peterson. This man will throw himself on top of a landmine if it'll keep me safe. Right. Okay. His number is 415-125-3086. Gotcha. 415-125-3086. Yep. The next okay. one is Isabella, the person that you defended the other day. She, gotcha. Her number is 415-241-5661. Gotcha. Isabella Carrington. All right, and the last one is Summer. Her, her number is 
0586-6589. What was the last one? 0589? 6589. 6589, okay. Yep, that's right. So if I were to be taken into custody, the most important thing is that they clear out that warehouse. Now let me just jot down in my notes that these are your points of contact. Yep. I'm going to try calling him again. Either he, uh, he's dead or he's just really busy. All right. So listen, I think you need to understand the deep kind of shit that I'm getting myself into here, all right? Yeah, I got you. I got everything listed here. I got a document ready to fucking... Second I hear anything bad's going on with you, I hear you in any type of uh, custody. All right? I got your points of contact for me to reach, and then uh, hopefully... Uh, uh, hopefully the hopefully we can skirt some terrorism. Yeah, hopefully we can. Uh, my biggest concern right now, though, is should I be caught? There's a good chance that I'll lose most of my businesses, as one would expect, right? What you need is someone who can uh, listen. Might sound bad. All right. Uh -huh. But what you need is someone who can uh, hold some of your money for you. I have a lot of money to be held, Mr. Vanian. Yeah, of course, it wouldn't be cheap. I'd be keeping 15% of whatever you give me to hold. But uh, I got my ways to... If you want to set up a little backup piggy bank, just in case things get rough for you, like a couple million dollars, all right? I'll cut you a deal at... 15%, which is a little, it's a lot lower than what I normally would. One second. Bill, Bill, I'm still in a fucking meeting. Jesus Christ, sir. Okay, fine. All right, uh, you I'll sound like it's, I'll, I'll call you when I get out. It's important, all right? I got to yeah, brief yeah, you on I'm some great. shit. All right, bye. All right, me too. Bye. Don't worry. Bill ain't going to know what he, what anything uh, that he doesn't need to. Bill's a reliable guy. Hey, you need to fucking take this shit off me right now, Dan. Yep, tell him. Well, I'm not going to take it easy. I need to, you need to fucking take this thing, man. I don't want it. He's stalling. Tell him he doesn't have a choice. Tell him you're heading down to Mission Row PD yeah, right now. Excuse me. What do you mean you're busy? What do you mean? What's, what's more important than recovering explosives? Like what? Oh, my fucking God. He said he's busy. All right. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Right. Um... Now, what we need to do here is we need to take a little bit of cash for you, just in case. Right. Two to three million dollars, all right? I'm, I'm going to keep 15%. I'm going to keep this cash in briefcases for you. It's not going to be traceable at all. No one's going to raid me. Do you know how long it takes to put that much cash in briefcases? Yep, and that's what you're paying me for. Jesus Christ, but why? What do you mean, but why? But why? So imagine why this. Would the, why would the police seize my money? Why would they seize your money? I mean, yeah. do you think that they won't? It was all legally, and I have the documentation to prove it. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that they wouldn't? I mean, Think that what do you think if, the chances are? If they took me if they took me to court, I could provide enough documentation and spreadsheets to get back every everything back to the dime. Every single cent I made is legal. What about uh you made any money from street races? You need you made any money uh, yeah. uh with firearms? What about yeah. uh illegally uh, uh have you acquired crypto illegally in any way? I'm not sure if you can no. uh I think you need to understand uh, just how rich I've become from completely legal methods, Mr. Abandonite. What are you going to do if they, uh, hypothetically, let's say um, 
they charge you a percentage based on your crime. What do you mean? Uh, what if they're uh, monitoring your bank access and your bank activities? I mean, that would be unfortunate, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. Look, look, I'm just saying. All right, here's the thing, right? You can do what you want. I'm not going to push you to do anything that you don't want to do. All right? Because here's the thing. I stand to gain from it. But all right. I'm saying is, could it hurt to have some hidden money away just in case unforeseen circumstances present themselves in a way? And who knows how the judge is feeling when you, when you uh, or who knows how much evidence they have against you? Or who knows? You know, who knows? Really? It's true. Can you be certain? I'll consider it, Mr. Banning, all right. All right, trust me. It's now that's not a service that I offer to to any to just anybody, but it sounds like uh, what you need is somebody to kind of hold some undocumented bills from you, and then be able to maintain those bills for you, and then uh, hand them off to you. And yes, it would be a lot of briefcases. I would need to buy a fucking house just to fucking store your money. I think you would need more than a house. That's yeah, a lot of briefcases. Well, between an apartment and a house, I could probably store most of it. Yeah, I understand. Listen, I'll consider it. I, but for now, I'm more focused directly on, on getting this pipe, pipe on out of my possession. Perfect. It doesn't sound like you are because it sounds like that guy blew you off. Well, what am I supposed to do? Go throw it at him? No. Not in this circumstance. No. Exactly. What would you recommend that I do? Just let's just focus on what we can. Just getting that pipe bomb to Fury for the time being. All right. Well. Because it's a little odd to me that he wouldn't want to take your pipe bomb. There's only a couple things that would make him ignore me for that. So he's either chasing titanium uh, or he's chasing a puppet right now. Or he's in a shootout. Those are the only three things I can consider. Well, maybe you're not as high up on his priority list as uh, as you think, or maybe he is trying to fuck you I'm over. I'm not, but the person that he wants is. Yeah, or well, he could be trying to fuck you over. I mean, you never know. Could be. But listen, I think one of the things that separates me from the rest of the chaff in the city is that I'm willing to take risks that no one else will. That's why I am where I am today. Don't worry, Uncle Rory's here for you. Yeah, and I have the best lawyers in the city to protect me from the awful decisions that I make. True. No, I wish I had you a year ago. Oh, yeah, that shit wouldn't have happened. Yeah, it also happened again. You, man, you wouldn't even believe it. I got, I got put on a 24-hour hold just because I wanted to ask about a warrant that I was being served. Oh yeah, that wouldn't uh, that wish, wouldn't have happened with me that, either. Dude. What type of pussy lawyers are you using that don't fight for you tooth and nail? I don't understand. Well, that's the problem. Is I get lawyers that are too by the book, right? You know, they they see these laws and these procedures in front of them, and they don't see them as things that they can bend and break a little bit to get what they want for their client. They see them as the rules of the game. You know? There ain't no rules in this fucking game. Exactly. And that's why I need you. And that's why I'm paying you the most out of any lawyer I've ever uh, gone after. is because you understand what it takes to get what your client wants done. Exactly. Exactly. It's what, that's what I'm here for. Good. Well, do you have any questions for me, Mr. Banyan? No, I've pretty much heard everything already. I just need you to get rid of that pipe bomb. And when you do, make sure I'm in the car with you. Got you. Do you want me to give you a call? Yeah, give me a call. I'll make room for you. All right. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. Good luck with the terrorism. Well, you know, there's a good chance that I won't get it. But there's also a good chance that I will. Oh, no, don't worry. I won't. Uh, not while I'm here. Do you know anything about Michael Simone? Can't say I do. That's a story for another day. <laughs> All right. Uh, but that's that's a lot of reasons why I'm so concerned. I'll tell you about it all in time, okay? Don't you worry. Now, 
and I'll be there to listen. It's good. Christ. Bitch is fucking crazy. It's a nice statue. It is nice, isn't it? At times I feel like the statue was made for me. It wasn't, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. I really fit in here. Because you're a beast. Uh, hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah, so that's trying, the way to put it. Hey, man. You know, this, uh, this comet's a really nice car. Do you like uh, it? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. Why don't you go ahead and drive? Okay. It's not really the Porsche that you're looking for, is it? Nah, it's not. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it just doesn't have that look that I like. It looks too much like a yeah. race car. And less of like something that's like just sporty and classy. Okay, with all due respect, the car that you want is a race car. Yeah, but I mean, you paint the that GT3 thing all RS yellow, is, it's beautiful. It's the racing version of a GT3. So it's not going to be luxurious. It's going to be stripped out. It's going to have a roll cage, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't want no fucking roll cage. I'm not a racer. Yeah, you would need to see the car, I think, to decide if it's actually what you wanted or not. It might be. You know, I have someone that has one if you want to take a look at it. Yeah, maybe. That doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. Yeah, do you know Miguel Almirian? I uh, can't say I do, no. Oh. Well, he's a, uh, yeah, he, uh, he knows all about, it. he has, he has one actually, we prefer it for him. I just want us to make sure that we, uh, get that cop that one thing, all right? Yeah, you want me to call him again? Yeah, I want you to call him and demand, and I want you to call him and tell him that you want to, you want to get rid of this thing. It's, you know, you're a businesswoman. You don't got no need yeah. for this. Be like, I'm trying to help you out, Fury. Fucking take this fucking thing off me, for the love of God, Fury. I, I don't care if you're busy. You need to make time. This is important. It is a pretty fucking big deal, man. It is a pretty big deal. Why the fuck would I want to keep a pipe Tell him you don't feel connection? safe. Tell him you don't feel safe. I don't safe. feel safe, man. I need to get rid of this thing. But Buy a Hummer? No, I'm not going to do that. Because I don't trust that you guys are going to try and do some bullshit on me, man. No, no, no. Don't say that. Don't say that kind of stuff. That makes it even worse, dude. When, when, can, when can you take it? How much longer? Okay. Okay, fine. Bye. What do you say? Okay. He said he's busy and that he, I need to fuck off, basically. Hey, let me ask you a question. How much would I have to pay to get a Hummer? <laughs> Hummer? Not a blowjob, a Hummer, like the car. Just want to be specific. What? A Hummer. You know, like a, like a, you know, one of them big Hummers? Uh, yeah, we don't sell those. Um, and to find one to import would be pretty expensive. All right, well, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe that's what I'll, maybe I'll reserve a Hummer. <laughs> Sure. I mean, I can let I can let Mr. Marshall know, and he can try and find one for you. All right, perfect. He's not the brain damage uncle that just passed away, is he? Uh, no. Which reminds me, I need to go talk to him. Uh, yeah, I need to. Yeah, I need to go talk to him. He's fuck. Hey, does he have any? Uh, look, let me ask you something. You got, you guys, let's go yeah. talk privately, just real quick. You got some place we could talk privately, just real fast. Uh, how private? Uh, just uh, just like around the corner. No. So we can head outside. Sweating in my suit. Yeah, what's with you when you run? Does uh, so what's uh, what's your what's your dying uncle do? Uh, he works here. He's the chief op of operations. Gotcha. I mean, but uh, if he was to die, what would happen to his money? Oh, he's broke as a joke. Okay, never mind. Fuck died, him. Aren't wills outlawed in this state? Nah. Pretty sure you can't will people your things. The state just takes it from you. 
Oh my god, uh, what am I, why am I totally uh, doing my life's work? If when I die, the state just takes it. It's true. You see, that's what you got to worry about. I mean, what happens if you get the nines and sent in prison for life? What, what makes you think that they won't just take your money? Take everything. Yeah, they might. They might. And then you won't have anyone watching two, three million dollars for you. You should think about that. Yeah, I should. Hi. Because it's not my money. It's your money. Yeah. Listen, if they try anything, I'll just fucking whip out my katana. And Ooh, that's a, that's a nice katana right there. Yeah. Yeah, being that out, do I get a katana? Uh, well, I mean, you'd have to be accepted as a member of Yokai, as a lawyer. You have to be our Shinjin. I can't pronounce <laughs> it because my fucking nose is clogged in. Yeah, I couldn't understand that. It sounds like your throat's clogged, too. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll all right, see. all right. All right, well, uh, I'm going to head out. All right, I got some stuff I got to take care of. Goddamn jam door. Hey, sir, where do you God want me? Jesus, Bill, I just got done dealing with the craziest bitch as a fucking client. Holy shit. I, sh I mean, she's going to make, make us money? a lot of money, but this bitch is fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah, we made, I got like $60,000 retainer from her. Uh, how fucking nuts? Yeah, just don't, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But Jesus Christ, this bitch is fucking crazy. Well, I mean, crazy means lots of work, though. So crazy. you should gotta hire a retainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that's where you know court cases come in. You know what I mean? We got court uh -huh. fees. Yeah, yeah. I got a I got a money maker. I just I need your help getting a hold of the guy. Who's the guy? Is it Psy Carter? His name's Psy Carter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jordan told me all about Psy Carter. You got his phone number? I'll give him a call. Yeah, I got his number. I'll text it to you. Are you going to the office? Um, I can come by the office. You said you needed to talk to me, right? Yeah, I, I got I got a uh, possible case for you. All right, perfect. I got a case for you as well. Okay, okay, awesome. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll meet at the office, then. How about that? Gotcha. I'll meet you in the office in about five. All right, no problem. Bye. All right, bye. Like Carter's a money printing machine. You just put him in front of the cops and they can't help but beat him. Something about that just seems wrong. Damn, okay. So we're working with Mary now. That's good. I mean, I'm not uh, investigating any of that stuff really, and I kind of. Uh, Stopped caring about the Michael Simone case on my cop. Kind of checked out of that one. I just feel like that's going to be another situation where we just never get the fucking guy. And when we do get the guy, it's just going to be fucking t 20 crims with RPGs and fucking class 3 firearms. So, not really too interested in it. To be honest. Nobody's going to snitch. Nobody's going to tell us anything. Yeah. Nobody's afraid of losing their businesses. Nobody's afraid of uh, ruining their lives for having affiliation with a terrorist. So if it's not as uh, if it's not that serious, why would I, uh, you know, deal with it? Essentially, that's just my mindset behind it. Like if the uh, circumstances aren't dire, then I feel like I'm kind of wasting my time. No offense to anybody, but. Let me pull over into the construction site real quick. I gotta run to the bathroom. Thought I was getting an office at Cerberus? No, I don't want an office at Cerberus. I want an actual law office. I want to get an actual law office dev'd. That's the, that's the big priority. Is getting like a shitty, shady little... Bro, I want to get a law office next to the Jeweled Dragon. That's what I want to do. I want to get like a shitty little fucking law office right next to the jeweled fucking dragon that would be fucking fantastic like a storefront no i want it to be actually like you can walk through the doors and shit just uh let me turn the music up and give me a second
Sorry about that, chat. Hey, what's up, Bill? I'm right down the road. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just let you know a tow truck chick might call you. A, uh, she might be getting sued for towing a car. Um, I, uh, I might have called in an impound request on a questionable vehicle for you. So. All right. Well, is it pictures of the vehicle? I mean, are these tow trucks? Yeah, I, I already pictures? got. I, I already got it for her. I sent it to her. So. I told her to call you if she's getting sued. All right. All right. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we could always take bit. the suit against her. Yeah, we could do either or. I don't know. Uh, do we know how to look up vehicle license plates? Can we do that, or we need? No, we, have, we, have to to get the, we have to get the cops to do that. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll send you the picture if you want to call a cop. You got any good leads, or? Um, uh, not at the moment. I've been a little busy this morning. I was with my uh, last client for like an hour and a half. <laughs> All right, okay, I'll, I'll try calling the cop. All right, perfect. Bye. Yeah, bye. Yo, the RP has been pretty good today, I think. It's been like a little more uh, slow burn, but I actually, I appreciate slow burn RP. I got to, I got to send my lawn guy some money. I feel so bad for my lawn guy. All right, how about this? Whatever donations we get over the next five minutes, I'll give to my lawn guy. Round it up to the nearest hundred. <laughs> How's that sound? Five minutes? Bro, are you kidding me? Five minutes can be a crazy amount of time. I'll just say, hey, look, I'm sorry for uh, fucking with your money. <laughs> Amber Heard needs a donation. Man, fuck Amber Heard. Nah, nah, Chad. I'm gonna give him. Uh, I'm gonna give him. A, I'll give him a couple hundred bucks. Where the fuck's Bill at? All right, Bill. What's what's going on? All right. Uh, apparently he's not swinging her because it was so little, so. All right, perfect. Um, all right, so Cy Carter. He has a very, very hated uh, relationship with Petey and uh, Sandy Shores. And I'll tab. I need, for a case, another witness to the corruption up there. So what I need, I need, I need someone to convince him to go tell Toretti there was no war in Sandy Shores. So he can get waterboarded and testify that he got waterboarded. That what happens? <laughs> yeah. If you say there is no war, to, um, I already have two clients, a cop and a, a, and a civilian who have been waterboarded for saying there's no no war in Sandy. They're waterboarding people? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I even have a trooper testifying that he witnessed it. All right, <laughs> shit. Um. All right, Cha Ching <laughs> had several lawsuits. I know, I know, and uh, I mean, because you've taken me on, you can join in the big one, and uh, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a massive payday. But we need to convince them, so try giving them a call. I texted you his number. Ty Carter. 
Yeah. Yeah. All so right. All right. an opportunity for him to make millions. All right. I'll let him know. Oh, it's my other client. I'll save his number for the time being. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. What's up? I'm I'm just sick. I'm good. Hey, you sound fucking sick, Bill. You better yeah. not be fucking dying on me. I need you. No, I'm not gonna fucking die on you, Rory. Yeah, no, I'm just sick. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'll recover. What can I do for you? Bill leaving a paper trail. Hey, I'm fine with it. It makes for RP. Can't do everything yeah, extremely yeah, perfect I, I all the time, but I'm gonna I try and do everything extremely perfect for fucking Mary Mushkin. Yet, Shit. Oh, well, you can vote for me. I, I would, uh, I would uh, greatly appreciate the votes because then we can Let's see uh, work on bringing uh, a lot of help to the neighborhoods that need it the most. You know what I mean? Links missing. 404 Bullet Club. Well, I mean, that's why it's in my uh, proposal that I'm. I like working with a Bill. Wages. I feel like he's the down, the perfect down they bad no attorney can't do that. to be working alongside Rory O'Banion and well, Jordan they Steele. Money. They're not gonna want to work and do it. But I gotta find us some fucking. Uh, yeah, Bill's always been funny. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blue um, pole. I'll, I'll oh, give yeah. you a shout in a little while. Oh, Gil. Meeting, okay. And we Gil would be good uh, getting Gil Schultz. Everything. I don't know if uh, it'll happen though. Jerry right, Callow is you. a must. Kevin Shaw. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got it. Uh, let me try give him another call. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a hold of the guy. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I got a court case for you. I got. I'm suing the police department. Oh. It's a pretty clear-cut case as long as, like, because negligence or, uh, you know, it's complete, it's just complete office of negligence. There's no excuse for it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it just, it is what it is. Uh, you, no, I don't think any judge will rule in favor. Yeah, I'm not getting through to Mr. Uh, Mr. Carter. Okay. You know, I got three cases against PD right now. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I or have three as well. Yes, what's your name? Patty. Okay, here's what you're going to have to do. Grab a couple coffees and uh, come to the city hall and uh, sit on the bench and we'll come out of the office and grab you when we see you, okay? All right, perfect. Shoot me a text when you get here. Uh, two, two's, two for us and one for yourself. Hey, hey, Rory, what do you want in your coffee? Yeah, I tell I want to, I want to, I, I want something to eat too. I want a croissant or something. Let me, let me get some, okay. like some type, something yeah. to eat. I need something to you eat. You know, just, just tell, tell I need something to eat. I need a bite. Eat. I need a fucking bite. Yeah. Then I got to get to work on securing right, us some cool. fucking clients. I already see one. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. What's the, uh, what's the bullet club? That's a business, right? If you're hungry. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, I know Mr. Randy. He owns it. Yeah, I was thinking about going uh, hunting as well for an office space for us to inquire about. Um, you know, I, well, I think, I mean, how much money you built up there, Bill, over the last, uh, like, a few days? Uh, $872. Got, All right, I got over 200 grand. Jesus fuck. All right, and uh, today I'm... incorporated as a business? I'm working on that. I got to talk to a fucking uh, deputy man. Well, you only made $872. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yep. What, what the fuck? Are you, what, what do you mean? You only made eight hundred seventy-two dollars, Bill. Because a lot of mine are like fifty percent commission when I win. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Hey, what if we like merge all our cases into one class action against PD? Yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it. You get. Okay. 
It won't work. I mean, um, you, you could do a separate class action against the police department. You know, you could raise, uh, you know, the people versus the fucking unified police department or some shit down the line. Or do, like, some type then, of magic. Like, yeah, you could, like, kind of double dip them. We could give that an experiment. And everyone who has been wronged by the PD and wants to pay the suit has to pay $1,000 up front to join. Oh, no, no, not a thousand. They least... have to pay five. Ooh, I guarantee we could get at least 100 people have been wronged by the police. Well, probably. That's half a million right there, even if it doesn't go to court. Well, I, you saw I put that case up for you yesterday, the uh, fucking Uwu Cafe yeah, yeah. one. Um, yeah. I was actually curious. I mean, I, what I might go down to do, I see Ash Ketchup's around. I, I got to mm -hmm. talk to her now, actually. I got to call her. Uh, I might see if she's willing to settle out. Right. What's hey, up, Maria, Danny? Miss Ketchup, I was wondering if maybe we could have a meeting in about five to ten minutes, maybe down at your little, uh, your cute little cafe. Yeah, what's up? Gotcha, I just gotta talk to you about something. It's really not a big deal. Can I, uh, I'll see you in like five to ten? Are, are you, are you, are you? Sure. Yeah, that's you, fine. You're not tired, are you? sound like you're not sleeping. You're not I'm sleeping. <laughs> fucking yeah. cooked, man. Yeah, <laughs> sleepy. Oh, uh, come on, come on. Drink yeah. a coffee. Drink a coffee. Uh, you got uh, time. You got time for me, right, Ash? You, you got I time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, head down. I don't drink All coffee, right. though. But yeah, head, head down. Come on. I don't drink I don't drink too much coffee, either. I drink a lot of coffee. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. Oh, All right, okay. Ash? All righty. See you soon. All right, yeah, I'm going to try and get her to settle out. You think, uh, what, yeah. what would you and Jordan take? Like, 50 grand a pop? Oh, Jordan would take anything. I'm not on the suit, though, so. Well, uh, aren't you listed as a witness? Yeah, as a witness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, technically, you are. Yeah, I'm just suit. taking. I'm just taking a percentage of what Jordan wins. All right, perfect. How about uh, if we can get uh, we chop fifty percent of it? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Hey, All did right. you uh, did you see what her lawyer said about you the other day? What uh, what the fuck? Uh, who's the fuck's her lawyer? Uh, James Hayes. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck that cocksucker say? Um. As I read it on the docket, while having multiple attorneys working on this filing, the representatives failed to identify the proper defendants in a filing that seems to resemble their quality as lawyers of the great state of Los or San Andreas. That's slanderous, man. He's running your name through the uh, fucking mud. Wait, on the case I just put up? Uh, on the one that uh, got... Uh, Taken down without prejudice. Senior attorney James Hayes is counsel defendants MBM Ash Ketchup and Ooh Cafe on grounds of identifying proper defendants. Uh, while they have had been private Skip property, that shit. read the last imp improper file. All right, gotcha. While having multiple attorneys work on this file, the representatives failed to identify the proper defendants. A filing that seems to resemble their quality as lawyers in the great city. That is slanderous. Fuck it. Let's put up a slander in suit against this fucking guy. Uh, he can keep his fucking opinions to him. Fuck himself. I mean, who the fuck does this guy think he is? Yeah, exactly. Hey, who, who the fuck does this guy think he is? Fucking while having multiple attorneys on this filing, represent failed to identify the proper defendants in a filing that seems to resemble their quality as lawyers of the great state, even though the grounds of dismissal are primarily focused on my clients, I can easily be applied to the defendants as well. We kindly ask the court to dismiss the civil action. Yeah, fuck this guy. So I'll beat the shit out of this fucking cocksucker. It's all employees, all employees and fucking, they were all on the property and all working. Who woo shouldn't be fucking responsible? Like, where, where that doesn't that even, even make, make sense. sense. It, it, listen, is uwu, is uwu private property? Yeah. Anything that takes place on the grounds that is deemed Uwu Cafe, they are responsible for, as well as the perpetrators of the crime. It's two suits. Potentially even more than that. Now, if this guy wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the fucking courtroom and spout all his uh, bullshit, is this that dumb fucker with the hat? Uh, I don't know what he fucking looks like, but I beat him in traffic court or uh, small claims court once, and he has no clue what he's talking about half the time. All right, perfect. All right. I mean, uh, I'll write that up and send it to you when it's ready for you to put up and file. All right, got you. And now, um, I want us to work on a case tonight. I'm not sure if you'll be around, but I want to work on my lawsuit against the uh, police department. Yeah. 
Uh, it's I'll be, be around uh, like four more hours and take a half an hour break and I'll be back. But whenever you need me, sir, I'm here for you. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, where's this fucking, uh, where's this, is she with us? Let's go check the lobby. Hey, hey, I'm here for you too, Bill. All right, this is a fucking team. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's see if this fucking guy showed up. Fucking coffee. Nope. I'd fuck yes, him. He doesn't get the tell job. Him tell him he's fucking fired. But still get All the right. coffees from him and give me a call. All right. Are you gonna go try and settle? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go down to the. I'll you go got a down. Gun? It's probably. Oh yeah. I got a gun. Trust me. All right. Make I'm sure always you need it going down there. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. It sounds like it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, convince her to settle out, and then um. What I'm gonna do from there on is, uh, um, you know, fuck this, uh, this James Hayes motherfucker. <laughs> then try and make her your client and put Hayes out of business. Um,. I'm gonna use uh I, I got a I got an angle. I got an angle to push. Alright. Okay, I got an angle to push. What am I gonna be shot down by every gang I fucking post a, a court case against or what? Come on, that's not how things go. Someone wants to shoot me down, I'll fucking sue everybody. I, but uh, this is something about, uh, I don't know. I don't like being shot down and then trying to get, like, uh, like a lawsuit. I don't know why. You know, I've never really been uh, shot down. I always do the shooting down as Rory. Rory always does it. Say it with me. Cha-ching. That's fucking hilarious. That's a good, that's a good tagline. That's a great tagline. Uh... Driving the Escalade. Look, man. I mean, what what's better? Trying to get now. Can I get an office space for free? Uh, let me ask you something. Does does everybody else here get office spaces for free, or do they fucking pay for them? You know, like it was a little like, do the people pay for these businesses in RP, or are they just given to them? No, no, I don't want a server. No, fuck a Cerberus office. What I want is like, bam, fucking Thor toys, but it says Rory O'Ban, you know, Rory O'Banion, attorney at law, whatever, the, the SOB law office. You know, that's what I want. I want something like this. I want something real. I don't want a Cerberus office. Nobody uses them because they're fucking... Listen. All right, there's a reason oh, nobody yeah, uses the fucking Cerberus yeah, yeah. offices. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that you, Cat? Oh, it is. Hello, my husband. Oh, my future, right my future employee. How you doing? C commit you any good. treason? How are you? Yes, of course. I you mean, any more me. treason? You commit any no, more not, treason? No, not in the last five months. Oh, that's what I like to hear. I keep it up. Okay. Um. Did I just drop frames? No, I didn't. It was just lag. Double check here. That's hey, you put your hands up, you check. bastard. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Hey, how you doing? Wow. Patty, hey, how you doing? It's me. It's, uh, it's your attorney. Um, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, I, 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 I'm glad I finally get to meet you. I could tell you was uh, the guy I was looking for by the red hair. In the pale ah, complexion. I, I, I gave it away, did it? Gave it away. Gave it. Well, I knew you wasn't standing behind the fucking counter in the gorilla okay. mask. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> gotcha. I knew. I at least knew that much. So it was a 50 50 shot with you with the dumb fuck with the pink shirt with the hat on or the guy out here with the fucking amazing suit. Look at this guy. He looks uh, great. Hey, yeah, yeah. Fashionable. Got two cups coming. What? Got us two on the way. All right, I already bought some. Hey, I gotta talk oh. to Ash. Is she here? Gorilla Man, King Kong. Uh, no, I'm I'm oh, just Kong. That's, Hi. that's a Kong, just... not a gorilla. I don't know the fucking difference. Oh, okay. 
Well, uh-huh. now you do. Not the I don't. I don't care to know the difference. So that's the thing. Look, uh, hey, we're just informed with you about it. Ash is around. Hey. I don't. She wasn't. And I'm, I, I shut the. I right call now. her. Shut the fuck up. All right, I, I, I talk to her. Not to worry about it. Sorry. Hey, Ash, how you doing? I'm down at your lovely establishment. Oh, I like the gazebo you got. It's beautiful. It's nice, isn't it? Hey, somebody, one of these fuckers took down my sign. What sign? I put a sign here on this tree, and one of these, some, one of these motherfuckers t- took right. it down. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, much. are the butterflies? I don't think it was the butterflies. I don't think butterflies take down signs. Well, I don't know. You never know. Do you really know what a butterfly does when you're not watching? Well, now that you mention it, you're right. I guess I couldn't prove in the court of law that a butterfly didn't take my sign down. So now I'm That's complex. True. Now I'm a little perplexed by the whole endeavor. You could always just put another one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah but how, who's to say one of these fuckers ain't going to take it down? This guy looks like it's, it's the type of guy to rip down a sign. Look at him. He looks like a sign ripper. He looks Han. like the type of sign ripper. He looks like he rips down those signs. What signs? Oh. Right, I didn't know. Mind. He said he, he had a like sign up. Does, he doesn't seem like how a bad guy. How long it up? I put it as soon as I woke up early. I put it up. Here we go. Hold on. Right above the pollen. Look at that. Beautiful. You did such a fantastic job, honey. You got time to go up to the office and have a quick chat. Well, uh, why don't we just chat here? I mean, this is probably... Ah, uh, no, it's right? private. It's about legal matters. Oh, okay. All right. Less prying is the fucking better. You know how it goes. Let me get the door for you. Thank you very much. Oh, no problem. I'm a gentleman. Yeah. Hey, it was weird. When I came in here, that gorilla guy was banging on his chest telling me to go fuck myself. I don't know what the hell's wrong with that guy. I don't know. i never seen him do that. So how you feeling? You've been up for a while, huh? Yeah, but too long. Making them money moves, huh? Yeah, I bet. Um, not really. Gotcha. Yeah, let me get the door for you here. Hey, I insist. Let me get that door for oh. you. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. You open that. Let me get that. Let me get that for you. I'm a gentleman, you know? Oh, uh, thank you. No problem. No problem. It's a little fucking tight. Yeah, it's going to be Look. remodeled soon, I think. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, if I sit on the chair, I can't even see you because of the screen. Yeah, yeah, it's, it screen's, uh, it screen's a little fucked up there. Yeah. Let me ask you a question here. Um, I'm not sure if you've been made aware, all right, but um, there's a, uh, there's a lawsuit taking place against uh, the Uwu Cafe. Have you seen that on the docket, or have you caught oh, wind yeah, of that? I meant to ask you about that, since I paid you and gave you money and engaged you as my legally retained lawyer. Gotcha. I so here's the thing. I'm... The case against me. No, so here's the thing. I'm not taking the case. I'm just the filer. Oh, okay. Yeah. But here's the thing. I come here as... as... Here's the thing, right? All right, when I look at this case, all right, it's, uh, I mean, have you read it? I, I read the very poorly written. Yeah, I didn't write it. Thing. I, 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 I didn't know, write it. I think it. that was Bill, Bill Bloody Maisie wrote that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't write it. Um, but here's the thing, though. I mean, how do you feel about that case? Do you think it has no bearing? Do you think it has no grounds whatsoever? Uh, honestly, like, I need to see the, re- the like, the evidence in the police report. Based on the statement, like, in the docket, no, I don't think it, it has any bearing. Um, at least not a, not against the cafe. Like, these people, whilst employed, if they're not working as, like, employees at the time of the altercation, and it didn't happen within the confines of the building, then no, I don't think it has any grounds. But here's the thing, though, right? Let me ask you a question. What exactly is the property here, like the property lines for your Uwu Cafe. I assume that it's not just inside the building. I assume it's outside the building, around back, around the side. Well, you have like a little gated area, you have a parking lot. It depends well, on who you ask because like when the police come and try to charge us with bullshit, they say it includes outside. But then when something happens, they say it includes only inside. So it really depends on who you ask. 
Alright, well, here's my... I don't here's, have any sort of papers for it. Here's my opinion. So there's there's usually city zoning laws and stuff like that. And, you know, property isn't usually just alleviated to a building, especially when there's land around that. And the parking lot seems to be frequented by your customer base. So what it could be articulated in court that anything that happens on these grounds is your responsibility. Now, this is private property, correct? Absolutely. Meaning, like, right now, if you want, if you told me to get the fuck out and never come back, right, it's, pri it's your property, you can dictate that. No, no, no rhyme, no reason, you don't have to tell me shit, right? For here, yes. Not for the Korean Plaza. Exactly, not for the plaza, but, but the parking lot could also be articulated to be your property as well. Now, from my understanding I of... I Well, you have, you have to talk to a judge. Um, but here's what I'm saying. Um, so, Mr. Steele, is it okay if I read out loud just so we can be on the same page together? Uh, I suppose so. I got you. So, Mr. Steele was arriving at Uwu Cafe for a potentially multi-million dollar deal. Oh, when I've already read this. Okay, well, I'm just going to read it again out loud so we're both on the same page, right? So we can okay. take it apart. Uh, identified as Pinky Peppers, approached him. At this time, the woman started punching Mr. Steele. All right? As he tried to retreat at this time, Mr. Steele uh, stated that if the woman didn't stop attacking him, he would be forced to open fire. All right? Uh, the woman continued attacking him. At this time, another woman with pink hair stabbed Mr. Steele. Mr. Mays then shot the stabber trying to defend Mr. Steele's life. At, at this time, another employee, Larry Johnson, shot down Mays. Mr. Johnson then took the two attackers and moved them to a car and left the scene. The gross negligence of the staff resulted in massive injuries to Mr. Steele as well as a missing out on a multi-million dollar meeting. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, so it's, the police report is not foiled yet. As I can see, it's, it's, a wait, it's a waiting for the report to be completed. Huh. You know, uh... So, like, I, I, you know... You might need to do an internal to... investigation with your work staff there, Ash, if I was to, uh... If I was to well, recommend if something. They're not, if they're not working, I can't control them. They're not my problem at that point. If they're but here's the thing, working, though. Sure, but if they're not, then that's that. Here, let me, let me... But let me tell you something. From a legal standpoint, if they are on your property... They are your, they are your, your burden, so to speak. Um, essentially, Sorry. I'm going to let you know something, and this might sound odd, but somebody could come to your property, right? Provoke you guys, like, let's say, um, they could provoke you into some type of retaliation, right? They could sue you for that. Oh, you mean like what Jordan Steele did? It doesn't sound like that from... Now, have you done an invest an internal investigation on that? Because what it sounds so, like... The only thing that I know about it is I was told that some person came and they were shouting chauvinistic comments and people got angry. And that's like the extent of my knowledge about it. I don't even know who the fuck... What is their name? Pinky Pepper? Oh. Uh, let me take a look. Yes, Pinky Peppers. Hey, uh, I think, I think I've, I've uh, head-popped. Oh. Well, I'll wait for you. Oh shit, nah, I'm all good, man. My brain's fucked at the moment. Someone's knocking at your door. Jordan and being chauvinistic. Oh my word. Beat this man down! Beat him down now! He called that woman a bitch! You know what? Ban him! I gotta bring Banner. you coffee or something, said Bill. Oh, hey, thanks there, Patty. I appreciate that. Yeah, there you go. Here's a coffee. Enjoy. Well, I didn't know that was you coming up to the office. I didn't know who that was. Yeah. Money needs, you know, money needs what money needs. Fucking, I'm broke. Well, you got those recordings from Amber Heard. I mean, that could that could really help us out. Yeah, I'm going to work on it. I'm, I'm definitely working on it. Don't you worry about that. Well, perfect. All, All right. right. Well, I was just dropping that by. I won't. Uh, Wait, Patty, intrude. you work here? No, I was giving this to you because I need money because I'm broke. Okay. So I'm he... trying to get a job as your assistant, but I'm okay. broke. You see, it, 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 yeah. Oh, there you go. There's 50 bucks. 
Appreciate that. Thanks. 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 Yeah, no Sorry problem. Get out of your way. All right, I'll, I'll be in contact you. with you. We'll see what we can work out. All right, sounds good. How Take much care, do right? the coffee costs? I don't know prices. I mean, isn't a cup of coffee usually like two fifty at the Dunkin'? I think so. I don't know what Dunkin' is, but you don't know what Dunkin' is. You ain't from the East Coast, is you? I don't. Dunkin' goes don't through our veins. Dunkin's like blood. Oh. Never heard of the Dunkin'. No. Dunkin' fucking donuts. On Listen, here's the thing. Have you done an have you done an internal investigation with your work staff? Have you talked to these people, right? Nope. Cuz I'm sure you're aware that someone coming in and yelling chauvinistic comments is not grounds to stab them in the back or start assaulting them. I don't them. know what happened. Well, I, well, I mean, it, so it, it sounds like you have, it sounds like you know more than me. That's for sure. That's the only thing I know. Look, um Here's what I'm saying, all right? Um, this type of court case, I mean, could you fight it? Seems like you got this guy, uh, Jim Hayes. Is that his name? Jim, Jim, Jim Hayes? Jim, Jimmy Hayes? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. This guy already slandered all the attorneys on the, on the last docket. This guy really ain't that professional. He seems like a nimrod to me. I mean, if I wanted to, I could sue him for it. I don't really see the point of it, though. I mean, if a colleague wants... Yeah. Phil Mays posting the docket as representation and a witness is already grounds for a bar complaint. One second. Sorry. Phone call. Hey, what's going on? Rory O'Banion, hey. your loyal companion. Hey, God damn it! You don't have my number saved. The judge is at no, City Hall understand. waiting for you. Oh, you, is it Judge Cross? Yeah. All right, all right. All right, I, all right. I can Hurry listen. Up. I can tell. I can tell this thing's going nowhere, so I'm going to depart from here. Right? All right. All right, no problem. Bye. All right, talk to you later there, sir. All right, uh, Miss Ketchup. Well, what I'll do is I'll I'll get out your hair. All right. Um, uh, what I would recommend though is you launch a uh, internal investigation into whatever happened uh, during that incident, so you can protect yourself. All right, or at least you can be made aware. I'm just waiting for the police report. I I'll let James handle it. I don't have the, I don't have the. Oh no, you most. Right word, so here's the thing: you most certainly do. For it. Ah, it's, all it is is just an internal investigation. You just take a few of your managers and you say, hey, I want to know what happened. Have a report on my desk in 24 hours. I mean, you're the boss, oh, you know? Oh, no, I mean, I don't have the patience for the cash gap court case. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I know what that's like. I've been down that path before. Yeah. So, Let me get that wait, door for you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in, Wooly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not a representative on your case. You're listed as one. Yeah, but that's only because of the docket posting. Oh, I see. Why did Scarlet not post it? Um, I'm unsure. What's up, Rory? How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, Jan. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You staying out of trouble? Your house? You ain't locked out of your house again, are you? Yeah, I'm staying out of trouble. This guy had his house. This this fucking guy over here had his house locked down. I got it. I got the cops to take care of that. Tell him, Jan. Yeah, it was awful. Tell them all Such about a... it, Jan. Yeah. They didn't even know what the fuck was going on, these dumb fucking cops. Eh? You know what I mean? And then they didn't even care to unlock it. Like, it but, was uh, such a shit show. I'm, I'm gonna head on out of here. I gotta meet. I gotta go talk to a judge. All right, good Bye -bye. luck. Nice uh, cape. <laughs> oh, they got water going down the slide into there now, huh? Timmy Hortons? Timmy's? I never had Tim Hortons before. All my friends in Michigan love Timmy Horton, though. Yeah, here's the thing. You s sounding by that court case? It... They'll actually lose. I might have to drop Ash as a client and refund her money. Because, uh, <laughs> judging from that court case, it's, uh, it's shit. You think it's a shit court case? Honest to God, it doesn't sound like a shit court case, right? If the evidence is properly documented and collected by officers, all right, it's actually, like, pretty obvious what happened, right? 
not like Jordan Steele won it. So Jordan Steele hasn't been arrested on any charges. For one. So. Or has he? <laughs> Chatter. It's shit. Ash is my queen. Yeah, I do notice that uh, a lot of the uh, the seaside viewers are pretty uh, diehard for their Ash ketchup. I mean, I like Ash a lot, too, but... Some of you guys are just, uh... How do I say this? Like, Omega Shrimps? You know. Like, Omega. Get in the oh. fucking car. Oh, shit, what about the judge? Get in the fucking car. Alright, alright. What's going on? Right, start driving. What happened? Just drive. Alright, alright, I got you, I got you. Did you do something, Bill? No, not yet. Cross told me to kidnap you and get you in a car and make sure you don't leave my site. So, I gotta get a hold of him. I got you, what's that about? I don't know why he wants to talk to you so bad. Okay, well we can go meet him. Yeah. I'm just waiting for him. What's here? What's here? Yeah. I'll tell you what's here. Our future law office. Oh? I mean, it's already got most of the letters. It only needs a B. S. B. O. Oh, we got, we got to put the O in the middle. He's got to move a few of those letters around and take one away. Is the noodle house really acceptable, though? Look, this is the prime real estate right here. We're right along an open road. We got a mm -hmm. nice little, we got nice little parking spots here. I think this is it. I think this is the what future about, home. What, what about the ones in Cerberus Tower? You get one. Fuck really the offices in Cerberus fucking tower. Have you seen them? Yeah, I saw them. I don't want one of them. All right. Everybody has one of them. What we need. Is our own building. Imagine walking through the glass fucking doors. You know, SOB mm -hmm. on the fucking doors. A picture of my face on the uh, on a poster. Be beautiful. Be decadent. Be charming. Be extravagant. This is mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. This is it, baby. This is where we get. This is our gig right here. How much is it? I don't fucking know. I mean, you know any real estate motherfuckers around here? Yeah, yeah. Well. We got a sign up or something. I don't know what no real estate agents. Shit. Hey, Mr. O'Sullivan, how you doing? Rory O'Bannon. Hello, oh, Rory, mate. So, that case we talked about yesterday, you don't want to go through with it. Well, why, why not? Because it's, we, we don't think it's worth it. What makes you think it's not worth it? I mean, a, a cop, you know, un, you know, a, a cop violated your rights. He did, but we did say some stupid stuff that we shouldn't say that we don't want to come out in court. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, you can walk up to someone and say, fuck you and your mother. That doesn't give a cop the right to beat your ass and then run your pockets like some fucking gangbanger. Yeah, but we, we mentioned uh, the puppet master, right? And if that comes out, then it looks bad on us, and people might come after us. Okay, so you feel that this is uh, in your best interest. That That's right, but on the other hand, because you've already got the money, can we speak about something else? Yeah, yeah, uh, we can talk yeah, about something going else. On, what's going on? So I'm, on my record, I've but got you, weapons uh, trafficking, you right? Here or what's up? But I yeah. never actually did it, and I never got charged for oh, it. It never went to court, but it's still on there. You like is it? there any chance of getting that removed? All right, go ahead. head to the courthouse now. I'll talk to you. Head to the courthouse. Right. I'll call a judge. Yeah. You like right, the cool. convenience you. of being able to get here? Yeah, of course. It's like a, there's a lot of stuff in the same place. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like a mall. Interesting. Well, in Jesus, so if you look, had a legal you, you look like a walking here. bush. Oh, thank you. So if there's a legal office here, you'd be inclined to use it because it's easy and it's around everything else you use, eh? Oh, hell yeah. Good. 
more the places in the home. same place. Yeah, I, I think you're right, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is fucking it, Bill. There's even a bank machine right fucking there. We can take all their money. Exactly. I mean, it's it's already there. You know, um, we're going to have to talk about that case, by the way. Which one? The fucking, the Uwu Cafe one. Because, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think she's going to budge. I don't think she's going to want to settle out. I'm probably going to have to drop. She, I did pick up as a client, but, uh, I don't, I don't have her business as my client, so. Okay, okay. So I can still, Banyan. It's beautiful, sir. Boom, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Something. That's amazing. You know, we could probably keep the noodle machine in there. Ooh. Get some ramen. Yeah, we could probably make our own. We could learn to make our own pool noodle. You know, our, our own uh, Pyong Pyong noodles. You ever heard about the Pyong Pyongs? No. So basically, it's like a long noodle that they pull. Uh, that they pull. That they pull. It's called a pyong pyong. Mm. Yeah. Spicy. It could be. It could be spicy. Oh. I mean, depending on the, you know, depending on the sauce. Yeah, I'm, I'm like a sweet and sour kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. You seem you seem kind of sweet there, Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of basic. Oh, um. I don't know why Cross told me to kidnap you. I tried calling him. I mean, I got a client heading up there. I got to talk to him. All right. Well, let's just fucking go back to the courthouse. Then. I mean, is Cross still up there? No, he left, and that's why he told me to grab you. All right, all right. I got, um... You're not in shit, are you? No, I'm not in any shit. I'm good. I'm clean as they come. Let me take a look at something. Uh... You know, if you need legal representation, you can supervise me and, uh... Hold on, phone call. Rory O'Banion, your loyal companion. How may I help you? Hi, uh, Mr. Rory. Uh, I'm looking to, uh... Is it possible to sue a police officer if I get tased and not provi get provided medical? Yes. Yeah, I, then, uh, I would like Did to you request it? Did you request a medical? Oh, you have to request? I was told that it was just by other people that it would... No, you gotta happen. request the medical. Ah, shit. Okay, uh... Hmm. Okay, Go get tased by that. a cop and request medical and hope he denies you, alright? Okay, sounds then, like a then, plan. then you give me a fucking call. Bye. Just okay, go yeah, to Sandy like and Bye. say there's no whore. Fuck the taser. I'm Pit telling you, Lord. all these fucking corrupt fucking cops are going down. I'm telling you how many court cases I got it on the, I can get on the docket against cops. It's so fucking easy. These motherfuckers are so terrible at their jobs. It's dumb as fuck. Bet you this Yo, guy has. This guy. I bet mean, you this guy has a fucking... room temperature IQ in front of us. He probably doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. It's probably fucking what a dipshit. Well, look at look at his license plate. He always resorts to violence. I mean, he's got it yeah, advertised. Honestly, we could use his license plate as provocation that he fucking assault that he's ready for war. That he's ready to go. Yeah, there. he's he's not gonna. Hey, lights green, asshole! Come on! What the fuck? Jesus Christ! What the whoa, fuck whoa, is wrong whoa, with whoa. you? What, what was that? What listen, the hell? Listen, listen. Hey, hey, sir, you, you need to step away from me, okay? You just ran into the back of my vehicle. What do you mean? You just backed your car. You just backed your car into my car. Sir, hey, did you see listen. that cop just banging back his car into me? Uh, Is there a need you as a witness? We're going to need listen. you. Small claims court. Small claims court. Listen, What's your name? Uh, listen. Uh, this is Den Shiesty. Yeah, Officer Den Shiesty with LSPD. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to need, need some uh, information, uh, Obanian. Oh, well, you already yeah, know yeah. what it is. Why do you need uh, information? Yeah, I need, I need. I mean, I need your name too, my man. This that this is a lot of damage right here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, a lot of damage that you caused. Nah, I don't know, man. I'm not. Uh... The hell's wrong with you? Mm. Hey, it's okay. Listen, at the end of the day, Mr. Bannon, you know where to find me. Okay. No way uh, to find you. you. Hold on, okay? hold on. If you leave, that's a hit and run.
If you leave, that's a criminal charge. Yeah, we need your yeah. insurance. Yeah, we yeah, need your insurance. We need your. I need your phone number. I need to get. Okay, some, I need well. to get some fucking information here. Okay, well, he 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 goes my phone number. Okay. I got gotcha. you. It's a little right. phone number. Wait, is this you? Okay. The three two three six. Yeah. All right, here's my here's my card. Rory O'Banion, senior attorney okay. at law. Dan, what the hell's what the hell's wrong with you? What do you mean? What the hell's wrong with what me? What the hell's wrong with fucking you? Huh? Backed into us. Huh? There's a witness. I mean, right if anybody, here. you should Listen, be trying to avoid. Okay. All right. You I'm, should be I'm trying sorry. to avoid I'm fucking sorry. traffic right. accidents, there, Mr. Shiesty. I'm sorry. You should I'm be trying to rough, avoid okay. with a, with a tiny ass neck like that. You get into a car crash at fucking 20 miles per hour, you're probably gonna have permanent damage to your fucking spine. Now I'm willing to settle out of court for five thousand dollars. Deal. All right. Perfect. All right. You saw that, eh? Remember, we got witnesses. This, this, give you my this wouldn't look good. You want to do me a favor and shoot me a text message? With your name and everything? I got you. Yep. Yep. Just get in the witness's name and number, Rory. See, when I bang into your car, there's nobody around, but when you bang into my car, I got two motherfuckers ready to fucking piece chomp shit. at you. Know you're, you're a yeah. piece of shit. Let me get my, let me, let me get, let me get an extra, th let me get an work. extra thousand, too. I want to go with some beat. My fucking neck hurts. Can you call an ambulance? Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We already settled out for 5k, Bill. You can cut, you can cut right, the act. Alright, no problem. I'm good. Here's your cut. Fuck up my face. Hey, I mean, pleasure doing business with you there, Mr. Scheiss. Do you know who to call if you need re legal representation, all right? Yep, yep, yep. And, and it ain't time. me, motherfucker, because I'm going to be the one suing your ass. That's right. Yeah. You don't know who to call now, do you? Yeah, you don't know who to call. Put one hand settled. on me and I fucking sue. Put one fucking hand I mean, on me. I mean, we didn't get it in writing we that we settled. Right here, yes? Yeah, yeah, it was settled. Cash. Yeah, it was settled. But it was in cash. Okay. Yeah, we settle here. Don't worry. We're men of our words. We're honorable lawyers. You ever met a lawyer that was a fucking liar? You ever met a lawyer? You, I, I appreciate you. Hey, yeah, that's a nice gun you got there. Yeah, y'all have a nice one. Okay. Hey, you have a good one too there, uh, Mr. Shiesty. All right. Yeah, yeah. You know, as usual, it's always a pleasure to see you. And yeah, we should yeah. grab lunch sometime. How's it sound? How you doing? You got an opening for me? Nah, I don't want anything to do with you. you come on, know. come on, there, Mr. Hey, Shiny. Do me a favor. Grab lunch Say together. hi to my uncle Richard Dark for me, okay? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. See yeah. you later, there, Mr. Shiny. Do you have a good one out on patrol today? I think we're on to something, Roy. Oh, yeah, we are. Trust me. People hit your car, you pull your phone out, they start panicking. They just start fucking panicking hard. Yeah, man, me and Jordan got some guy for $8,000 the other day. I meant with the cops. Oh, oh what? what? What with the cops? We'll just keep parking behind them like that again, and as soon as the light turns green, start honking and yelling, and we'll fucking make more money. Yeah, that's right, but not a lot of these cops is, uh, you know, that, that Mr. Shiesty, he's kind of, he's a stand-up guy. All right, fair enough. I really need to get a hold of Cross. Who? Cross, I really need to get a hold of Judge Cross. I got a client I got to work with. Hey, what's going on, Liam? You on your way, mate? Yeah, I'm on my way. My bad. I had a minor fender bender. I'll be there in two seconds. All right, cool. See you soon. I right, have a good one. Fucking uh, Cross is still uh, Cross is yeah, still on still the fucking going to phone. Busy. You know where he's at? Um, uh, either Parsons or the oil field. All right. Why, why the fuck would he be up at Parsons? Is he like uh, doing volunteer work? Because no one up goes there? there and fucking bothers him. It's his hiding spot. It's just like uh, if you ever need Reggie you might the judge. He'll be up on Mount Gordo with his honey hives. Yeah, hey, you need to, um, what you need to do is you need to put the pressure on Ash Ketchup. Okay, okay. Yeah, you need to put the pressure on her. You need to call her and say, hey, I want to meet. I'm interested in settling this out of court. Alright. I also sent actually, you the no, other don't, two. Actually, no, don't say uh, that. Don't, don't, actually, don't say that. 
Mm-hmm. You're clan here or what? Gay should be inside. Liam should be inside. But if the judge ain't here, there's nothing I can fucking do for him. I thought the uh, I thought the what, judge was around. What's he need? Um, he apparently has like some type of weapons trafficking charge that he was never found guilty of. That's on his permanent record. He wants it taken off. Oh yeah, that guy. We gotta go talk to the cops. Well, we gotta talk to the cops. We about. gotta. Well, we gotta find out what cop pushed it. Put it on there. Oh yeah, we and, gotta. Uh, I mean, we gotta. We'll do that, but I mean, I want to get the judge present. I mean, the judge can do the. Uh, I mean, the judge can see if there's any paperwork or whatever. See if there's any yeah, relevance. Yeah, the judge either. told him to call a lawyer. I was standing right there, and fucking guy didn't call me. Wait, is that is that one of those? Hey, picking up, picking up uh, the dead man. It is. Hello, mate. Hey, what's going on, Liam? How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Oh, who's this? Is this, uh, is this, uh... It's Charlotte. Charlotte Drew Dumbo. Clint. Yeah, that's right. Charlotte oh. Dumbo. Oh. I'll say that, man. All right, all right. No, I was just joking. Just Josh. Let's go back to the office real quick. Come on. Okay. 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 All right, all right. So, um, tried to get a hold of a judge. I, I mean, I thought a judge was around here. Yeah, I'm gonna try getting a hold of him again. Uh, what I could do yeah, is I could yeah, go we down. Actually, we actually spoke to him before and uh, asked about it. And he said I need to get a lawyer. All right, all right. So here's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's. Uh, I'm sorry for making you waste your time and come down here. You know, of course, there's gonna be a fee for this whole thing. You understand that, right? It's not gonna be too steep. It's gonna be like like probably two or three thousand dollars. Hope that doesn't bother you too much. All right, I got to head on over to the uh, police station, and uh, what I'll do is I'll see if I can talk to an officer about Liam O'Sullivan, weapons trafficking, see exactly, you know, if I got a FOIA anything, and uh, see if yeah. we can just do this, like, knock this out today. Uh, knowing the police department, they're probably going to make it as difficult for me as possible, but uh, what I'll do is I'll just charge you, like, maybe three grand for this whole ordeal, and then I'll be about my day, all right? Could we do the 1.5? Seeing as we paid 1.5 yesterday, we're not going ahead that's, with that. What do you mean? That's to put me on your retainer. So what do you think? All right, let me ask you something here, Mr. Sullivan. All right, okay, you, uh, okay. you're a dodo delivery driver, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, they paid you yesterday. Why the fuck would they bother paying you today to do something else? Well, you didn't do anything for me yesterday. What do you mean I didn't do anything? I signed you as a client. All right, you still got to pay court fees. You still got to be... You're getting charged... This is a consultation. You're getting... It's charged $500 an hour here. You know, you already owe me a thousand, okay. about five hundred bucks. But I'm trying, I'm trying to help you out here. I mean, I got to make my money too. So what is that that you're going to do for me? You're going to go down to the police station with the I'm going to go get this. Yeah, no, nah, it's because the, look, look, you got to let me. To judge. Exactly. Yeah. You listen, they're giving you the whole thing. I'll take care of it. All right. This is uh, what you pay me for. Right. Okay. All right. Give me another two, three k. You said. Yeah, three k. Okay, okay. Technically 3500 because we still had, you know, consultation. Okay, okay. All right, so I'll yeah, go knock well, this out yeah. for you, and then I'll give you a call, all right? All right, thank you. Go over to ATM real quick. I need, I need, to, I need to get paid. <laughs> Imagine if I was charging, like, actual, like, fucking prices, man. People would lose their shit, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah, don't you worry, Liam. How are you doing there, uh, Charlotte? You need help with anything? No, no. Totally legal, I am. All right, all right. Make you remember to give me a call when you need me, okay? Okay. I'll tell you if my manager's at Dodo. When the two of you me. getting married, huh? I see that there's a, there's, a, there's a relationship here, huh? You guys sweet on each other or what? What's the, uh, what's the state ID, mate? <laughs> oh, okay, I got you. All right, state ID is going to be, uh, let's take a look, 5347. Remember, 3,500. There you go. How long is it going right. to take to get you sorted, mate? I'm gonna, it's it's going to take me as long as it takes me. You know, I mean, I can't force them to move faster than they're capable of, but I sure as shit can fucking try. All right, Mr. O'Sullivan. I'm going to go knock this out for you real quick. Hey, Bill, All you right, ready to get go. out of here? You, you yeah. able to get a hold of the judge? 
Yeah, let's go. Oh, you got him? All right, all right let's go yeah. talk to him. So is that the interview over? Is it my done? All right, we're a little busy at the moment there, Patty. But you know all something? Right. One. I like the cut. Are you in for a job? Uh, he wants an interview. Wait, okay. I, I, do you have the memory of a fucking goldfish, sir? I said hello to you. You sent me to go to see the Rari. I do that. You know what? Fuck your job. You're a joke. You're an actual joke, sir. I really joke, like sir. his fire. You are a joke. Oh, hey. Patty! <laughs> My God, man. How hard is it to remember someone you met 10 fucking minutes ago? At least pretend to. Well, I mean, I wouldn't give you that disrespect. I just wanted to see how you handled it. I like your fire. I like your anger. I think we can use that, can't we? Yeah, yeah, we actually could use that. You know, I, I, I might have some good work for you in the future there, Patty. All right. I might yeah, pay you. If anybody killed, just let me know. Yeah. All right, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here, all right? <clears throat> hey, Cross. Uh, Rory walks slow. We're, we're at the car and we're over going over now. Yo, Rockbeard, thanks for the 34 months. Tostades, thanks for the okay. six months. You Tunnel Money, office, thanks or? for the 28 months. Chat, remember if you're new to hit okay. the follow button and to get those subs okay. in, all right? Cool. Bye. Fuck, I really need to get a real estate agent there, Bill. He's, he's really fucking pissed. What's he pissed about? I, I, I tried meeting with him uh, tons of times. It sounds like he's pissed at you. More than likely. All right, where are we going? Uh, Cerberus Park downstairs. Cerberus parking lot? All right, gotcha. Yeah, and then go up the stairs, he says. We do need to get that sub count back to 10k. Oh, no, dude, I'm really enjoying this RP, though. It feels, uh, it feels good. Oh, this is the Cerberus Center. Shit. You know, I almost bought an Escalade today, but I want us, I want us to get our fucking office space. Uh, I mean, you gotta, you gotta love these squishy seats, man. Modern cars don't have that. Yeah, yeah, it's a Lincoln Continental. This is a classic, 91. Were you even born then, sir? I was born in 89. All right, fair enough. Yo, dude, Hearns, thanks for the four months of Prime. So that case you posted, sir, you're going to have to tag the two defendants. I sent you the information. Oh, and on the, uh, on which one? On the docket posting at Suwoo the Cafe? The Jordan Steele one, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can change that All to right, whatever. perfect. Hey, how you doing right. there, Gianna? Gianna? Gianna. That's Riley. No, no, huh? your Anna. He's talking to you. Your Anna. Oh. I don't know that oh, woman. Gianna. All right. Anyways, you're gonna go over here, look, and you're gonna look for uh, cross uh, cross and shield, and you're gonna visit it. I got you. Yeah, I've been here before. All right. Perfect. So how's your day uh, been going, so Justice Cross? Good. Good. So there's an ATM here on the right. There's a whole uh, green screen set up over here for uh, doing a film a porno or a commercial or anything like that. Perfect. Couches, a bunch of different shit. Uh, Bill has access to here. I have given you access. Stop fucking using the bathroom at City Hall. Use this as the office. Okay. Oh, the bathroom at City Hall is amazing. It's a it's Stop courtroom Stop using adjacent. the bathroom at City Hall. Stop. Use here. You even get an ATM right there to use. They can pay you, pull out money, make it rain. I don't give a fuck. Stop using the goddamn bathroom. I like to take a shit every once in a while, and I can't because well, you're right fucking well, there. Well, that's why yeah, we use the woman's washroom. Yeah, that's right. why we use the woman's yeah. one, though. No, I like to take a shit in the woman's one because that's the one that gets clean. I mean, we can move to the men's one if you want. No, stop. Here. 
This is it right here. Okay. Well, actually, I do have to, uh, I, I do want to inquire um, about a property in Little Soul. Right next to the Jeweled Dragon, there's this cute little noodle shop. And I can't help talk but imagine. Talk to, uh, I think you got to talk to Francis and the Realtors about that. Francis and the Realtors about it? All right, I'll try yeah. and contact the Realtors. I'll try and contact yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, I got, I got Francis's number. Just don't call him a little person. I would never imagine. Bill, Bill, you've had run of this fucking place for a while, so just, yes, you know, do what you got to do. Stop using the fucking bathroom. Hey, can I, I get my uh, plate changed on my car? Yeah, let's go. And also, I got to talk to you about a client, I, Liam. I thought you were buying a new car. Nah, I'm, I want to buy an office. That's more important. Okay. Just but, uh, you know you, actually, can you, I, uh, I, actually I do need to talk to you for a minute here. But we just get okay, uh Liam O'Sullivan, he claims to have weapons trafficking on his record, but he was never convicted of it. And I was wondering if you could maybe look into that before I go down to the PD just to see exactly. Oh, yeah, he called me earlier. Uh, yeah, he's been getting yeah, the I, whole I don't, I don't, workaround. I don't actually know anything about it. Um, I'm sure whoever the fuck arrested him and gave him weapons trafficking can, uh, can deal with that shit because. 100%. I'll it, go. It, it's, um... it's fucking dumb as shit. Gotcha. I'll uh, I'll FOIA request it, or I'll go down there and just try and talk. No, directly. don't FOIA request it. Just tell just tell them like just to literally get this shit done. Someone like one of the fucking dispatchers who have nothing better to fucking do can look that shit up for you. All right, perfect. All right, all right, fantastic. All right, perfect. And then light, plate change, huh? Yeah, right down. Hop, hopping on the elevator. Let's go, Bill. All right, perfect. Why didn't you come upstairs? Jesus. Easy 3.5k. No, come upstairs. Come on. Probably could charge. I could probably charge more. Hey, what's um Saul Goodman's plate again? Lawyer up. He's so easily excitable. <laughs> Everybody gets easily excited by you, Bill. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, lawyer up, L W Y R U P. That might be taken. Just give me two seconds. This is your emperor, right? Yeah, this is my emperor right here. My Lincoln Continental. Is that Lincoln emblem super glued, sir? No, no, no. That's the that's original. That's a classic right there. It's never been touched. Mm -hmm. okay. That's okay. the original one. Huh. Now I can't be fuck Murphy because we don't have that lore. Yeah, lawyer up taken. Let me try something else. I sue for you or subpoena. <laughs> Objection. I sue for you is mine. Uh, let's see. He is say How's that. Oh, that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna charge you really quickly. You're gotcha. How much is that? Three K. There you go. All right, oh, perfect. Yours. Thank you, Yana. Yep. Stop using the fucking bathroom. <laughs> Doors jammed. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure of meeting your uh, your friend there. Oh, this is Riley. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Rory O'Banion. He's a lawyer. And on the hey, right side, that's Bill Mays. Nice to meet you there, Riley. Nice to meet you. You, uh, you looking for employment, ma'am? Mm, depends. Oh, it depends. Yeah. All right. Are you good at getting coffee? Huh? You good at getting coffee? Colombian blend, two creams, two sugars? No. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good day, man. She does not know me if she called me sir. Are you, are you a woman? Oh, I'm just, I'm a dick. I'm not a sir. <laughs> All right. Does he know what cop it was that arrested him? Did he tell you? Nah, I'm just gonna go down there and try and find it. I'll hold the whole thing out. 
Have you dealt with the dispatchers before? Uh, I've dealt with the cops, and it ain't pleasant. Uh, Seems like well, these motherfuckers don't like being asked the to do their job. And hold on, my dent didn't come. Hey, hold on. Oh. Jesus Christ. Hey, is that a child driving that fucking car? Yeah, what you gonna do about it, bro? Get out of my way, bro. I could do anything. Jesus Christ, these kids these days. Jesus yeah, they're entitled. Oh they got God. daddy's money and all the roads all the time. Daddy buys them a car and probably be a good client. Yeah, yeah. Shit, sit here and fucking sign people up based off. Oh, that's a plan. I was, I was going to play. I was planning on doing that. I, I put a sign there the other day. I think it got me a lot of work. Well, so if we can't use the bathroom, we should just move there for now. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a good idea. It would be a place where people can come meet us. You know, nobody wants to go to that fucking Cerberus Center. Mm -hmm. I've already made fucking, uh, I've already made uh, over $60,000 today, Bill. Sorry, over seventy thousand dollars today. Well, there's a comma in my bank account now, so I can't complain. Good. Rory O'Banion, your loyal companion. I fight the battle, so you don't have to. Hello, Rory. How are you doing? doing I held you the best lawyer in the city. Oh yeah. You know what? That's an understatement. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm looking to get some legal representation. Hi, right, fantastic. I'm pretty cheap. Uh, to put me on retain, it's only $1,500. Uh, deal. Deal? All right, all you got to do is Wenmo it to me and then send me a text with your name and I mark you down on my clientele sheet. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'll do that right now. Rory. All right, perfect. Do you need to talk about anything? You need any consultation? What's going on? Uh, yeah, I, ideally, I would like to speak about the situation. Uh, I've just come out of a 24-hour hold. Um, and, uh, yeah, I would like to speak to yourself. All right, all right, how about this? Uh, um, I got to do something for a client real quick, but how about you get the uh, retainer taken care of? Send me that text message. I'll walk you down. I'll give you a call when I'm free. Perfect. Thank you very much, Rory. All right, no problem, pal. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. Peach, I'm right in front of you. How? Wait, what are you talking about? I'm I'm huh? literally I'm to your left. The left? That's what? that's the right. Wait, huh? Turn more. Oh, okay, I don't. Turn, turn again. What? I one see no loitering sign. One, one more huh? time. Turn Wait, again. Okay. No, the, no, no, the no, same direction. I don't direction. see you at the door. No, no the huh? same. The same direction. What? We am confused. Wait. I, I'm over here, Peach. What? I did say that. I said I was right. There. There, I said I was right out front. No. Oh, okay. What, what, what are you guys doing here? Yeah, hey, we gotta come down here talk to the cops. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, is oh, that oh, McNulty? Is Jesus Christ, you fucking live out here? Hey, McNulty, I gotta talk to you. Let's go back to the office. Oh, uh, your office? No, no, that, we'll that's not my office that's not here, I... the temporary office here. It, nah, that's you not our office? office. Your yeah, 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 we got, yeah, over, yeah. It's, it's over by the lab. Yeah, we're, we're probably, oh, okay. yeah, we're currently yeah. working on that. Okay, uh, all right. Where would you like to go? You want to go back into the, all right. Yeah, let's go yeah, back. Okay. Come on. We have a satellite okay. office here. It's over by the lab. Yeah, yeah, I don't you really heard have him. an office. You realize I'm just a, no. a regular said, officer, right? I said we have an office here. It's over you by the lab. Yeah, it's a satellite office. Yeah, why don't you okay. grab your keys and get the door open? Yeah, Goddamn, come on. T t tell you what, why don't I just go look into that real quick? Peach, what the fuck is going on here? Are these guys, are these guys for real? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is my second job. Okay, but I, all right, but do they have an office here? You know he this? He puts the ass in assisting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you huh? go towards the gun range. It's Peach, first door on your do, left. Do, do, this is my do you have an day. office here? Do you have this an my, office here? Do I have an office here? Yeah. Um, uh, the, the sheriff lets me borrow his office sometimes. All right, give me a second. Okay, okay. Look, we just want to go back to your captain's office. That's all it is. We just want to go have a chat. Uh, all right. yeah. Well, if it's not occupied, I guess that's prob That's no problem. All right, uh, you guys got guns? We got to give them up before yeah, we come yeah, back. I got yeah. A, yeah, I got a gun. All right, hand it over. All right, all right, all right. Here you go. I got two right here. 
Bill, do you have an actual is that gun? gun legal? Yeah. You want to go to the gun show? What's up, Rory? Right? Yeah, it's legal. Mm, yeah. Hey, okay, just making sure. No. I, was, I was about to say, if you need an attorney, here, give me a call. All right, here's my number. Yeah, of course. You, you know Perfect. me. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, b b boss first. You go ahead. Yeah, let's go. Now you walk a little faster, you walk slow as shit. Nah, don't worry about it. Huh? I'm not on duty yet. I walk slow because I'm not doing my job yet. Oh, okay. Wouldn't you want to walk slow when you're on duty for money? I get paid by the hour, so I walk slow all the time. You, you cracked the code, Bill. Mm-hmm. Sure you don't want to use my old office? All right. What's up? All right, so um, we got to talk to you about a guy, don't sit, right? Don't sit there. Stand over here. I don't, I'm not the captain. I don't sit in the captain's chair. Don't try and fucking bait me into a goddamn chewing out. All right, Jesus. All right. Well, we, apparently, we can't fucking sit here. I know. I know. It's, it's terrible, but uh, believe it or not, even the, even the chair has a gate around it. All right, listen. All right, let me ask you something. All right, I'm looking into a case here. Apparently, this, I have a guy. He was charged with weapons trafficking. All right, he was never found guilty of the charge, but it's still on his record. I need you to look into this. His name's Liam O'Sullivan. Liam O'Sullivan. Mr. O's this guy's this guy's name ring a bell. Did I charge this guy? Is this my guy? Well, if only oh, I could be so lucky. I mean, but then you failed failed to do your job. I mean, this guy's never right. been made aware, never been charged, but yet he has this on his so record. So he's got a weapons trafficking charge on his record, okay? And you're and he's not been he's never gone to court. No, 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 no that. Okay. Don't open on the docket. Oh. Asking these cops to to do their jobs, huh? That's what you're expecting these cops to do their fucking jobs. Is there? Huh? Does he have a? Does he have a timeline of of when this might have happened? He, he doesn't even know when it oh, got God. put on there. He doesn't. Yeah, he's got no fucking idea. I have diarrhea. I need to use the bathroom. Peach, if the door is unlocked, you can use the bathroom. Okay. You have keys, Peach. Use your keys for God's sake. It's oh, the okay. bathroom. Okay. You open the so... door for us so he doesn't shit a dress. <laughs> for the love of God, Peach, oh, you don't have God. fucking keys. Oh, no. Take it in the bathroom. Get out of here. Oh, take God. take it in the damn bathroom. Come on. God oh, damn. Wait. What are you feeding her? Nothing. What if the back door's locked? Nothing. God damn. That's probably the problem. <laughs> Fucking. I wish there was a way to filter charges on a specific individual. It's unlucky. All right. So tell you what. Uh, what I can do is I can look into this, and rather than making you sit here, uh, watching, and make you watching me stare at this MDW, I can call you. I'll look into it right now, though, for you. All right. All right. You look into that, and you give me a fucking call. All right. I need to know. All right. Yeah. It'll take me a little bit because I'm gonna have to go through all those charges, see what it might have been, where the charge is, all that other shit. So it'll see take me who, a while. who, see who processed the charges. Pull up the fucking report. Find out who fucking put it. So I know a cop to sue. Again, sir, I can't look for the specific charge. I have to go through every single fucking incident with a gun and try and find where the weapons trafficking might have come from because the person might have leveraged the charge. On a f I don't know what the fuck. Right, well, 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 has he ever been arrested by Wrangler? Just start with those ones. I have no idea. I have not looked at the reports, Bill. Give me a fucking all right, well, then, All right, well, then do your fucking Jesus job. Christ. I think you listen, listen. listen. All right, here, look, not, look, look. All right, look, we appreciate you listen, there. Bill. All right, McNulty, we appreciate That's you. That's good. All right. Hey, Bill, by the way, uh, I fucking had a conversation with the stupidest person in the world yesterday, Larry Johnson. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, uh, you, if he had, wasn't such a tremendous moron, Bill, it really sounds like you might have been on the hook for potential, you know, reckless endangerment. With no, the no, I'm not. I know, but you're not because we did our fucking jobs, okay? So the guy yeah. is an absolute jackass. I, I know that you guys were in the right. I charged him as such. But uh, it was a close one based on evidence and some other stuff like that. So just be careful with that shit evidence an independent witness don't argue and... with me bill i'm trying to be nice and say be careful with your class too because it was it was at uwu it's a populated place you got to be careful okay yeah well i mean i was careful sir Good. thank you all right thank you bill i'm hey, glad do you're I get it so back receptive now? to my advice what do i get it back now i don't know it's still evidence i'll talk to the, to the original guy 
Uh, uh, Willie was something else happened at Ulu. No, this is the same shit. All right. This is that case. Well, that helps. Uh, that sounds really good for your fucking claim. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that sounds great for your claim. I might have to go talk to yeah, Ash I real quick. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you because one of the employees was charged and found guilty. He actually pleaded guilty, so... Yeah, Miss Ketchup ain't picking up. Oh, oh, she's calling. She's calling. Go. Right. All right. Hey, Ash, how you doing? I was just uh, checking to see if you were still awake. Didn't, uh, was one, you know, are you feeling good? I'm okay. How are you? Gotcha. You, uh, where you at right now? Cafe. Gotcha. On my way. See you soon. Oh, Okay. This might actually get her this might actually get her to settle out. You want me to take the reins on this or do you got them, Bill? I'm a witness, so I can't say anything. I got shit for being a representing on it. Alright, I mean it's not it's not against law for you to have a conversation with a woman. <sighs> I mean, that, that one is from Crane, oh, so shit, I really don't want to. Whoa, 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 oh, hey, hey, you need a lawyer. Call Rory O'Banion, you need a loyal companion, all right? Oh, shit. All right, all right legal team here. This guy's guy talking about buttholes. Butthole check. Like okay, oh, Gunner, first, he's first of all, he's trying to check someone's butthole. Okay, first of all, that is not sexual. He said that he wants to check Mia's butthole. Okay, prostate, prostate health. I never He's said that. Women, women don't have prostates, prostate. though. Hey, Gunner, come here for a minute. Nope. Okay. Gunner, come here. I heard yes, women don't poop. Is that Jesus true? Christ. What happened? Liam! So what the hell What the hell are you doing uh, Rory, here? Are you some type Rory, of sick fucking minute. pervert or something? Rory, Rory, give uh, us a minute. Can I oh, okay, alright. I'm gonna go talk to representation. I I don't recall. Okay. I'll be talking. I'll be over at the Uwu. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Hey, remember, you need a lawyer. Call your ro your loyal companion, Rory O'Banion. All right, senior attorney. Hey, where's Miss Ketchup back, Kong? She's outside. Oh, I think she's outside, yeah. Hey, hey, there's cops down the road. You better hide that fucking gun. I will. She's over there, buddy. Oh, that. Oh. Hello, Rory. Oh. Hello, Rory. Hey, Welcome how you guys companion. doing? Rory, Quite this well. is Sherry Pye, who you know already, and this is Maybell. Maybell, this oh. is Rory. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Rory. Uh, it's nice to meet you too there, uh, ma'am? Maybell. Yeah, it's Maybell. Mabel Will Blaine. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you there, uh, you old broad. All right, now listen, um, uh, Ash. Have a uh, seat, Rory. Why not? Yeah, I'd, I'd prefer to stand. Uh, I'm here on legal matters. Um. Oh my so I came gosh. here to talk to you about that ooh, that case, cause uh, okay. it ain't looking good. Mm. Gotcha. So why? Why? Uh, cause one of the guys uh pled. So one of the people involved uh, uh, you know, pled guilty. Uh, got charged for the crime. Uh, and the perpetrators of the so. um, of the uh of the case. Uh, in your in your eyes, the, the 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 victims of the case who were pursuing against you for legal matters uh, were found to be within the right. 
So, you know, you, you are going to get sued. Yeah, there's a warrant out for the and other. Bill, you can't talk to a well. bill. You can't, you can't talk to a bill. I'm talking to you. There, there's uh, a hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like Rory O'Banion, your loyal companion. How may I help you? Hello, Rory. I'm going to have a client for you here soon at the MRPD. Just waiting for EMS to treat him. All right, gotcha. Um, I can uh, I can head on over there right now. Sure, I'll meet you there. All right, bye. Bye, bye. She says she doesn't hey, we, understand how we they, got a client. Uh, how nice. we work or jump to them. So let her know that because they were working, you know. Well, didn't it happen inside of the Ulu Cafe? Happened uh, right in the doorway. But they were all working. Show me where it happened why, real yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean... This is all their property. Right here. So yeah, literally yeah. right on, literally right on their property. Jordan now. was running away. He got gunned down in the doorway. Okay, so everything happened inside of the establishment. So he was. It started here. The assault behind us. Yeah. And by the time Jordan got gunned down, he was trying to run inside to hide. And got knifed by the woman. I mean, this yeah, is all their property. Up. Yeah. Alright, right, well, we got someone we got to go represent, so. Alright, uh, cells? Yeah. Which police station? Uh, Mission Row. I feel like I should probably wait there. Um, I, I, I do have to depart. I got a, I got a call, but, uh, if you're around still, Miss Ketchup, I'll do my best to get a hold of you. Yo, Gravy, thanks for the 51 months. And Kampu, thanks for the 10 months. I really do appreciate that. Was my sign not on that tree no more? All right, what cop, what cop are we doing? Hold on, McNulty's calling. All right, what's going on, McNulty? Uh, all right, Mr. O'Banion, uh, I've done some digging. Uh, I found the case in question. Um, you're free to FOIA the report, of course. Um, however, this uh, this one looks to be kind of a unique situation. Uh, Mr. O'Sullivan was charged as an accomplice to weapons trafficking uh, from a BTF bust um, a couple of months back. And uh, he was on scene. He was part of this whole thing. But the primary suspect... Um, went on a permanent vacation not long after this bus, and I believe his docket case was likely lost or not posted because of that. All right, so he's all an right. accessory, to, he's an accomplice to a person who is by all rights dead. All right, I got you. All right, I'll, uh, I'll just send me the uh, the incident number. Uh, I will. I'll text it over to you now. All right, you can hang up now. No, you, you hang up first, pussy. No, I'm not. Hey, fuck you, McNulty. You work for me. Uh, no, I don't work for you. I yeah, don't you work, work for you, You're sir. working for me now. You're doing my bitch work for me, motherfucker. Do you want to get these fucking reports? You better fucking talk nice to me. Okay, all right. I'll keep talking nice to you. Yeah, right? say, say something nice. Say something nice to me now. You're a fucking dipshit, and you're going to keep doing your fucking job regardless Okay, how do, I talk say to something you, nice, motherfucker. See what happens. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Say, yeah, say, yeah, 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 yeah. I want yeah, to compliment. I'll say something nice. I see you walking away, Dan. Jesus fuck. Hey, you got my Senior gun. Senior officer McNulty. Oh, I do have your gun. I, I do have that. All right, I'll bring it out to you. One second. Apparently, right, we bye. gotta go down to cells. Yeah, Fury called somewhere. me. I got a, I got a guy who's at Pillbox who's All gonna right. be coming here for us. Uh, McNulty, no, McNulty has McNulty my firearm. He has our firearms already. We were here. Your gun. Yeah, we ain't got no I guns. I have his gun still. He's trying to get it back. So I guess I'll give it to Fury and he can give it back to you when you guys are done. Come on. Yeah, it sounds fine. Hey, Dan, you think any more about our conversation? Shut up, Bill. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, I'm hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa McNulty, what the hell's wrong with you? What the? Professionalism. Jeez, McNulty, what the fuck's wrong with you? Listen to, uh...
Listen to Deputy Failey over here. All right. It's a uh, senior deputy. Senior, senior deputy. Yeah. Yeah, we're both uh, seniors. I don't have I don't to listen to him I don't see no stripes on his shirt. Is he pretending or something? That's true. He, yeah, I guess not. Okay. Go back up. It's fine, Dan. Your career's in great shape. You're fine. All I'm saying, Dan, is it's millions. Think about it. Yo, easy. Thanks for the five months. I really do appreciate that. Hondo, thanks for the nine months. Yeah, we can just wait here in the hallway while they're coming. I hear Fury. Uh, Fury's coming anyway. Oh, name. Oh, name Oliver Fury. Hey, how you doing, Rory O'Pan? You need a loyal companion. Hey, there's your lawyer. How's it going, Rory? Uh, it's going fantastic. Come on in. All right. So, um, before we continue, I'm just gonna send your possessions to in a small baggie. I'm just gonna check your box. All right, you're fine. Oreo oh, Panion. Okay. Are you... Do you care about this cock in a box? Because you don't have space I, anymore for some reason. I remember I had a cock in a box. Full. Did you put that cock yeah. in a box on? Uh, yeah, you had it, and now it's on me. It's, uh, it's empty. I don't remember picking up a, a cock in a box. I, uh, I don't really it. care about it. I don't, you don't I don't care about it? Okay. All right. All right. Your possession will be with DOC. I'll just remove your gloves for your opinion. All right. How do you pronounce your name? Sorry. Han. H A N H. Okay. Han. Okay. All right. Let's put you in a jail cell. We'll talk to your lawyers and we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Let's hit you one more time. All right. Gotcha. So, deputy, you mind telling me uh, what the fuck happened, or? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get Give Bill me a second. We'll talk about everything. <clears throat> oh, Bill, yeah. Sorry, Bill. Forgot about Bill. How can you forget about Bill? I've never even done anything right. to you, and you treat me like shit. That's not All true. right. Uh, give me a second. Here, I'm giving you uh, right, you Mr. O'Banion's gun. It's his Colt. Uh, I'm going to put it in your pockets there, Fury. All right, okay, bye. You. Wait, how All right, did I so here? what happened is we know, chased a high-end vehicle know, across the Blazing Fields Freeway. It was uh, me together with two more chargers, a bike, and a helicopter. I'm sorry. Uh, there was a truck in the middle of the road. The in vehicle that we were chasing passed on the right side of the truck, so we went there too. But when we started going, the truck T-boned me and blocked off another unit. So I got out, shot the vehicle and he surrendered so i stopped shooting i uh, held him a gunpoint he got out he you know i uh, got out of the vehicle uh got in cuffs it called ems got him treated he stated before i read his rights that he was chopping and that he didn't mean to do that uh however he still did it doesn't mean if he wanted to or not he still did it and yeah, after that, I mean, in his possessions, he only had the two lockpicks, which is nothing illegal. The only illegal thing on him was a... Uh, what about a radio? ...that doesn't belong to him. He does have a radio, yes. All right. And a phone. Did, uh, did you check the radio frequency? Yes, 169.7. Gotcha. Did you make contact with uh, anybody that led you to believe that the car that, uh, went pa that slid past the truck was uh, uh, they're still in chasing communication? That. They're still chasing that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then right. I got to call you later. Perfect. All right. So uh, yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks um, for the charges. As yeah, of what are right the charges? Now, uh, because of the fact they're still chasing the vehicle and us not being able to prove it until you get it, I'm not going to charge him with felony obstruction of justice. All right. I will, however, charge him with the assault with a deadly weapon because of the T-bone. And uh, he gets Grand Theft Auto, which he said that he was shopping a car. And the third one would be, let me tell you exactly the name of the charge for the ID. It's a this. stolen ID. Uh, let me tell you exactly. Possession of a stolen uh, identification. 
because the identification in his person comes back to uh, Derek Zane. His name is Han Do. Have you contacted the owner of the ID? Uh, no. So how do you know it's stolen? Because it's not his ID. So, you could be holding on to it for a friend. Mm, fair point. Fair point. I'll I'll get in touch with him and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, you want me to leave you guys to it, and you can talk yeah, with we the got this. gentleman. I'll be on the other side of the Derek door. Derek Zane, for correct? Me can, uh, Derek Zane, correct? Derek Zane, and what's the name of this guy? Hondo. Uh, yes, Hondo. Uh, how, do, how do you spell his name? Um, H A N H, and then his last name is Got him. D O. All right, perfect. All right, I'll take care of this. All right. All right, so how you doing there, Mr. Doe? I'm your representation. My name's uh, Rory O'Banion, senior attorney at law. This is uh, my uh, partner, Bill. Bill Mays. Yep, Bill Mays. Yeah, yeah. Um, we do have a question for you. So, um, all right, yeah. don't fuck with me. All right, if they catch this guy, will he be on the same radio frequency that you are on? Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, I can ascertain that you, you were working with that gentleman, right? And, I mean, he can't nah, ascertain nah. that. You, know, you weren't, so it was this a complete was, accident. This complete accident it was like really all bad right. timing all right, listen, look, 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 look. Super all right look why'd you tell the son of a bitch he was, he was chopping he's trying to charge you for grand theft auto but were you, chop explain, were like, you well, chopping was... the truck were you chopping the truck you was in no nah, nah, nah. i was just trying to get a ride out okay um so here's the thing right yeah was the truck yours that you were in mm, uh, what do you mean like was it the truck that you were in was it legally yours did you own that truck nah it was stolen it was stolen i mean yeah. So he's charging you for Grand Theft Auto for that vehicle that you were. We can probably get that down to joyriding. Uh, you had a stolen ID on you as well? Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, I, t I see that you and uh, Zane don't share any uh, properties uh, together. How yeah. long ago did you uh, acquire the ID? Uh, like uh, three weeks ago. All right. Why the well, fuck I mean, you got it on you? Because the guy might, be around, not, might not be around, so. He's not. But they're still going to try and push that fucking charge. And here's the thing, right? It's not yeah. on them to prove that it's stolen. It's literally the the, the charge is possession of a like stolen ID. You know, let yeah, me just read it that says charge. Without consent. Okay. So they have to be able to prove without uh, he owns it without consent. Let's see. Possesses an identification card of another citizen without consent. All right, so how did you get this guy's ID? Uh, it was actually stolen off of another guy. Like, uh, it was like Ballas during the Ballas series in GSF4. Uh, some guy from the Ballas just gave it to me. Oh, awesome. So uh, your friend accidentally left his ID in your glove box. Yeah, yeah. You're just holding on to it until he uh, can pick it up. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, they ain't looking like, uh, he's crazy good. Is that the, yeah. Hey, Fury, is that the initial guy? Does he need lawyer or legal representation? Uh, are you? What is this guy from, uh, from the uh, bus boots? Oh, wait, already? Yeah. Hold tight for a second, Han. Okay. Well, he's not getting felony obstruction of justice. That's right. Do you want a lawyer, Keo? Nah, I'll be fine with that. All right, fuck you then. I will represent you anyway, dipshit. Thank you very much. Damn. Hey, good right. luck on your Grand Theft Auto. That's right. <laughs> even even though it's only fucking joyriding, but hey, you don't want to hire us. Actively removing a track or a jaw rod? Are you sure yeah. about that? 100%. I've wanted in bench trial before. 
All right, here's what we're looking at. So, he's trying to charge right. you with assault with a deadly Keep weapon, going. grand theft auto, possession of a stolen ID. All right. Um, I'm gonna get him over here. Hey, Fury, can you come here? So, um, what's up? I right, look. Here's the thing, right? Oops. You, well, you, uh, you didn't take the whip. All right, so that's the that's the initial guy that what? you guys were all after, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, so there was no radio frequency match. You said you're not charging him with felony obstruction of justice. Correct. So it looks like it was just a car accident. I mean, my client saying, you know, wrong place, wrong time. It was completely unintentional. All right, he was already mm -hmm. shot at. Isn't that punishment enough? Do we really have to charge him with assault with a deadly weapon? I mean, hey, he didn't intend for it. He's not, and he's not pushing you know, any uh, legal court case against you here, you know, for, uh, you know, uh, excessive force, anything like that. So how about well, what we just do is, uh, you know, we just drop all charges, let him walk out of here. He's learned his lesson. Mm, here's the deal, though, right? In the moment, I am within my rights when someone T-bows me while I'm driving 120 to use force to take them down, right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> now, I will say... Because of the fact that this guy doesn't have the same radio frequency, uh, and I have been proven wrong that this guy is not helping them, I won't charge him absolutely not with the uh, felony obstruction of justice, neither I will with assault with a deadly weapon. Because he didn't have the right. intent then, right? It was an accident. Oh, right, well, how about we, uh, you know, you said something, he was not under Miranda, I understand, spontaneous utterance, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. How about we drop the GTA to joyriding, and then as far as that ID, that ID goes, I mean... Mm -hmm. You know, have you have you read the charge for stolen identification? Yeah, it's re it's made very poorly, so it's, I didn't it's even made, put it. It's it's made very poorly. I mean, here's the thing: if you want to investigate mm -hmm. that ID and find out, you know, down the line that there's no tie between you know uh, Zane and Han, then be my guest. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, how about we just chalk it up to joyriding? All right, you know, okay. find them and get them out of here. Mm, okay, you got yourself a deal. All right, all right, thanks. I appreciate that. All right. No, I mean, you're very reasonable, and I'm more than happy to be reasonable. All right, perfect. Uh, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I'm a good guy, you know? Oh, you absolutely are. You absolutely are. Are you okay with all this uh, there, Han? Yeah, I'm all right with that. Joy running. All right, perfect. All right. Uh, joyriding comes with seven thousand six hundred dollars. Hey, Before you could fly, what's going on? You were whipping uh, me. We can do if you want. Uh, I can do you an offer. You, if you wanna plead guilty, we can just bail you and uh, let you go. Okay. What do you think, Rory? Is that good? Or? Just plead guilty. Just plead guilty. Yeah, it's a good deal. Okay. Yeah, right. I really don't. I really. He's I probably really she's bucks, putting in, uh, and, well, again, in a sorry glass for or something, you. like, uh, yeah, fucking... Sorry, I, uh, I think if, if, just, if I stop on the road, that'll yeah. be much worse. <laughs> like, block break all the cars, right? Um, well, if you just stayed, it would have been fine. If you didn't move, it would have been fine. <laughs> I, didn't because... there were, I, I didn't realize there were any cars coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, give us a second. Um, yeah, well, I, again, I, I guess shit happens. I, I, if you have no idea how it looked like from my point of view. It was like you yeah, let him pass through and immediately shade into me, boom, and then you get it into your back. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, perfect. yeah I get it. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> let me bill you. you pick up your possessions. Also, your lockpicks are obviously, you know, taken because you're in a different charge of joyriding. Yeah, yeah. This is absolutely beautiful. What the hell? Right, there you go. True. Um, I don't have to put you in soft cuffs. Let's uh, get you your stuff. That's kind of. And you're free, you're free to go. Perfect, Fury. Do you have uh, me and Bill's stuff as well? Our guns. Uh, yes. I only have one gun on me. Yeah, I don't. I didn't have one. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll That's give you that one. Yeah, I'll wait until we get out. It's fine. Wait, Nico, what's your what's your state ID? Nine seven three seven. If you need to buy log picks, I got more. Oh, hell yeah, I'll take them. <laughs> there you go, your lawyer will sell you law picks. Got them from treasure hunting? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's see outside. On the front. I got you, sounds good. Allow. But yeah, uh, listen bro, you're very reasonable. I need to call you more often. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, look here. Um, I understand how some things are, you know, I'm willing to work with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh... These ain't bench trials, you know, I mean, sometimes they turn into that, but, um, these trials ain't really, that, I mean, these charges ain't really that excessive to warrant it, you know. 
And yeah. you you were well within your right if you believed you were under threat of harm given the circumstances. I mean, you're protected by your own, uh, you know, you're protected by uh, your own uh, doctrine there, so it's not a big deal. I'll call you in 30 seconds. Sorry. Um, yeah, no, no, it's, uh, I guess it's uh, really unfortunate it happened. But yeah, I'm sorry for that. All right, perfect. Uh, I just want to say it was, uh, I just want to say it was really yeah. nice too that you didn't treat me like an idiot as soon as I brought that up about the. Yeah, uh, Bill appreciates ID. that. Everybody treats him like shit. Well, Bill is a great qualified boy, immunity, Despite whatever the, it is. You know, we had a bench trial and you guys were uh, up my ass. Like, I, I don't, I don't give a shit. It's a oh, yeah, I mean, no, it's, no, well, no bench offense, trials is if you got to, you got to right? understand that you know when I'm in the courtroom, that's my gang war. All right, we're at war. Oh, yeah. All right. No, no, no. Absolutely. Listen, that's I, my I gang war right no... there. All right, I'm putting down all the sprays in that courtroom. All right. Yeah, it's like if you're arresting me, I expect you to come full force. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. All right, but no, no, um, listen, job. I'm just saying there's no like I, I absolutely respect both of you and uh, there's no hate here. So don't don't worry about it, at least from me. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, perfect. we'll we'll go ahead. Mr. Han, you need a ride or you good? Yeah, I'm going to need a ride. All right, yeah, let's come give on. Him a ride to the apartment. I'll give him All a right. Stay hey, safe, gentlemen. If you ever need uh, food when you call us, wink, wink, we'll bring it. All right. Sounds good. Damn, you're a damn good lawyer. The best in town. That's not bribery, is it there, Rory? No, nah, that's not bribery. All right, perfect. They'd have to prove bribery in court. Now, if you want to put uh, uh if you want to put me on retainer, it's only fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, I, I, I'm down for that. All right, perfect. Yeah, he's, uh, I prefer doing Wenmo here. Let me slide your back a card. Let me hand this back to you. All right, there you go. That's my card right there. My number. Keep four. your hands on the wheel. Yeah, don't worry about it. Fuck it. Oh shit. <clears throat> She's fucked. Well, what the fuck is he pulling me over for? I don't know. We're already pulled over. We're already pulled over. No, pull over to the right side of the road. Turn right. God damn it. He just ordered you to run a red. Uh, yeah, he wanted me to change lanes. Oh. And enough windows down. John Doe's a hard ass cop, I bet. Legion Square Cadet, is that what it is? That's funny. See fucking harassment from the PD as soon as we leave with our client, they're pulling us over trying to nail us. Don't worry about it. Alright, what can I help you with Hello. there, deputy? Yeah, my name is Deputy John Doe of the Palito Bay Sheriff. I'd like to see some license registration proof insurance. Oh, hey, Mr. Doe, it's Bill Mays. Hey, one How second. You doing? I keep all my papers in my t glove box. All right, uh, yeah, there you go, right there. Rory O'Banion, senior attorney of law. Thank you very much, Mr. O'Banion. The reason why I put you over today, you were going 39 and 35 zone. Uh, just before you approached the intersection of Vespucci and Strawberry, before you even stopped, you were driving 39. See, I told you if I can keep your hands on the wheel and pay attention. Let's take this bitch to traffic court. All right. If you wish to take it to traffic court, uh, if there is a judge around, then sure. If we're just All right, right I'll here, go. Uh, gotcha. Mr. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll wait right, right here, dipshit. You go take care of your ticket. <laughs> uh, Justice uh, Zamala Bachavachikov, how you doing there? This is Rory O'Banion, senior attorney at law. Uh-huh. Gotcha. I, I, right now, I need to take a guy to traffic court. I'm getting uh, pulled over for going 39 on a 35. What's that got to do with me? I need a judge. Traffic court. One of you oh, you should find a judge. It. You're listed as a judge. You you catch uh, catch uh, Zamal Zamal Kachikova. Call it Katcha. Katcha. That was good. Justice Katcha. Katcha. Catch up. Justice Katcha. Katya. Ka the woman who wrote I'm sorry? the Constitution. I'm sorry? Sir, Justice speak Katya, up. you're the woman that wrote the Constitution. Justice Katya. That's true. That is true. Yeah, see, so what? You, now, I'm, now I'm reduced to traffic court? What the fuck do you think I am? 
I mean, listen, listen. I mean, come on. Can you can you oversee a traffic court case for me? Come on. If it, do, it as long as it's over within thirty minutes. If it goes on past thirty minutes, it I ain't, ain't doing it. It ain't gonna go on past thirty minutes. All right, I promise you. Okay, we'll get here in five minutes. All right, I'll be there in five minutes. All right, and I, once again, thank you, Justice. She hung up on me. Fucking bitch. I yeah, um. She's like that. He's gonna find you though before we even fucking. That's fine. He can fucking find me all he fucking wants. Get, wait, you can, can get a ticket for going four over? Mm-hmm. Fuck. Thought it was, uh, you know, I thought most of them don't really start looking for unless you're going 12 over. All depends on if they have sick in their ass. This guy tried to get me to put on the dock a, a, a case for joyriding. He's I think this guy just sounds really petty. Sounds petty he is. as shit. He's worse than Broad. Guys, guys, are, yo, fuck this guy, right? Eat him alive in the courtroom. All right, uh, drives in excess of the speed limit. Drives in excess of the speed limit by up to 35 miles per hour. I think I got an angle. I mean, you can't even. Put your fucking uh, cruise control on unless you're speeding. I right, look, hey, how about we just let this All whole tra- right. How about we just- It's four over. How about we just let this whole thing go? We don't have to go to traffic court. I don't want to hold you up. I'm a busy guy. Yeah, let's just let this whole thing go. How's that sound? All right, but how do I- uh, How do I have uh, any, you know, guarantee that you won't speed again, Mr. Banyan? Listen, I give you my word. I'm not a speed demon. I'm not that type of guy. Come on, look at me. I'm a senior attorney. I ain't no gang banger. All right. Well, look at my so... record. Look at my record. Come on, I'm a good guy. Yeah, I did notice your record. It seemed to be spotless. Nothing, nothing there. Exactly. All right, Mr. Banyan. Um... This time, I will leave you with the, just a warning. However, uh, I'll make sure it's noted in your profile that you did receive a warning for third degree speeding. Um, so the next time someone pulls you over, you can expect the ticket. Is that clear? All right, all right. Sounds good to me. All right, I appreciate it. All right, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that, all right? All right. And once I'm back in my vehicle, my you know, lights are off. I, you and are I, apo go, I apologize, all right? I apologize. All right, well... Apologies, one thing, but once again, please make sure you do not speed again, Mr. Banyan. I will do, will do. This guy's serious about his fucking speed. Oxo. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with these locals? Hey, how you doing there, Justice Katya? Uh. -huh. Traffic court's no longer gonna be required. All right, it's um. You settled the whole thing out already. All right, I learned my lesson. Wait, they really so you just you... made me walk from the front room to the back room? I I apologize. I, I did not mean to make you walk. Um, it was foolish of me. And uh, I do apologize for that. I truly am sorry. $250,000 fine. <laughs> yeah, I got three locked. What? what they normally go right, can we not do the two? Can uh, we not 250. do that? Street. I think I just got fined by a judge for $250,000 for making a walk. Are you serious? Hey, Peach, how you doing? Oh, hey, hey. Oh, I'm doing Man, okay. Sorry, I had, a, oh, I had the run, so um, um, I had to get some fresh air. Um, wh where are you, Rory? Uh, right now I'm over at the uh, Legion Square dealing with uh, Legion fucking... Legion Square? Yeah, dealing with some fucking traffic cop jerk-off, motherfucker. Are you still at the... You still shitting at the Mission Row? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I can run to Legion Square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll nah, be right I'm coming. There. I'm on my way back to Legion to the mission. Okay. I'll be right, I'm right out front. Okay, 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 okay I'll be no, right there. I'll set you a right, bye. Yeah, I just gotta pick up my assistant real quick there, Han, and then I'll drop you off. Sorry for uh, holding you up there. Can you believe that guy? What a fucking dipshit motherfucker. Am I right? Give me a traffic ticket for four over. Fuck's wrong with the cops? Yeah, this I, down. I just want like a win for this one. Yeah, look, sometimes you gotta sweet talk them a little bit, even though you don't fucking mean it. Yeah. Takes you a long way. Everybody likes having their fucking dick stroked, huh?
Sometimes you gotta fucking grab them by the balls and stroke that cock right into your fucking mouth. No matter how much you don't want to do it, you just fucking do it. Fuck them. Hey. Hey, come on, hop on in, Peach. Uh, okay, okay. Who, who's that? Khan. Client. Oh, client. Okay. Hey, what's up? Are we, are we going to the back alley? What, what, what? We're not going to no what? fucking. No, we ain't going to no back alley, Peach. Do you think I get the two lockpicks? Yeah, yeah, once we get to the apartment, I'll go grab them. I right, hell yeah. Look at that guy fucking waiting there. Look at that motherfucker. This motherfucker just... There's nothing gets this guy's dick harder than fucking traffic crime. Using the fucking rainbow as well. Look at him. He's fucking on it, too. Every, this guy fucking runs this in his section, huh? I don't see one... I don't see one motherfucker speeding. This motherfucker's at the ready. He's like a fucking gunman in the fucking Midwest. Look at him. Jesus. Wouldn't be surprised if he had a shit ton of spikes on him. So, um... How was your day today? Oh, it was what pretty good. Do? I signed some clients, took care of some shit. I actually got to call a client of mine real quick. Huh? Oh. Wow. Thank you, with Oh, shit, we're getting shot. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. It the hurts. fuck? A bullet, a bullet hit the car. It's a uh, Changang ow. local. Changang local. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Uh, uh, it's not my time of the month. Could you maybe. I, I, I'm bleeding. Uh, okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Or go to the apartment, Rory. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get companion, us to the my loyal companion. Hey, okay. how you doing? If it isn't my favorite client under the sun, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Just Call that guy. Do that thing, all right? I, I did. He told me that he wants me to come to, to the PD meeting to give it to him. What the fuck? No, fuck that. He's, he's putting you out on display. Uh-uh, don't have that. Just fucking be like, hey, listen. Don't, don't tell him not to jerk you, jerk you around. I right, tell him that. You need to give that. You want to do that shit now, all right? You're doing I feel him like a favor. Him He's off not. Is the bad idea, you know. Feel like pissing him off is a bad idea. Well, here's the thing, right? Yeah. Worst comes to worst, I'm also a witness to you trying to get rid of this thing if this guy's trying to fuck you over, all right? That's a good point, it's true. Hey, watch and where you're going, there, motherfucker! Isn't there a case law that means the oh. police can actually uh, go after you if you're trying to turn in weapons to them? <laughs> exactly. Uh, just two. Yeah, well, luckily these are so. Well, that's good. Perfect. All right. I'm covered then. All right, you get, I, I, I don't well, feel comfortable do with you doing that during it, a, a fucking space. It sounds like he's putting you on uh -huh. display. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm I got in so you. much pain. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. Peach, relax. You. Are you okay? Peach, what the hell happened to you? All right. Uh, oh, oh, I don't know. Can you die I, quieter? Me, me. Can you die quieter? I'm okay, on the phone okay, with a okay. fucking client. Okay, okay, what? okay. All right, so, uh,. You all right? Um, yeah, I'll be you, fine. You give me a call if you need me there, all right? I'll be there for you. Absolutely. Yep, you're my number one call. All right, bye. <laughs> top, of the, top of the phone book. Bye. Bye. Right. It's in the glove box. Uh, what's in the glove box? What's yeah, they're in the glove box. box. Go ahead. All right. all right, thanks for the ride, guys. Hey, no problem, <laughs> Han. You know who to call. Oh, yeah. Best lawyer in town. <laughs> hey, Rory? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, um, so remember how I'm like exiled? Um, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I was wondering if we could go and pick up my things and and, and maybe we could talk to them about about suing. Um, well, right now, yeah, or uh, it maybe in maybe 20 minutes ish. All right, all right, in 20 minutes, um, we'll uh, okay. We'll uh, meet up at the apartments and we'll uh, we'll head on okay, up there. Okay. How's that sound? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm I'm so I'm so bleeding a little bit over here. Hey, you, you uh you you Roman, good? I'll give you a call uh, after uh, the storm. We just got shot. Give me a minute. Be going to jail. Hey, you need a lawyer? You call Rory O'Banion, your loyal companion. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's get you. I'll get you. That guy looks like the type of guy to say guilty send me, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hey, Peach, let me show you something. I was wondering, what do you think of this okay. place? 
Oh. Right here, hey. next next to the jeweled dragon. What do you think of Sho, the Korean noodle house? Um, who doesn't love the Koreans? Yeah, who? But I mean, the Korean noodle house. You know what I mean? Take a look at that place. Imagine. Oh, okay. Imagine, you know, glass doors, you know, being able to fucking walk in there, go right on in. Perfect. Is this place open? No. All right, all right. It's nice in there. Mm-hmm. But you all the places are that fancy around here. Peach, what the hell's Sorry, wrong with you? What was, you Why'd know you wait in the I, car? I know I have a lot of things wrong with me, huh? I mean, I asked you specifically in the moment, what the hell's wrong with you, you uh... Well, I'm not feeling very well. I had diarrhea, and then in the bully, you know, it grazed my skin, and, and now I'm bleeding. All right, we'll, all right, we'll get you to the fucking hospital, all right? Okay. Hold on, we got super cop over here. Peach, how come you and your boss haven't retained me yet as a lawyer? Wait, 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 why? You want some money from me? Oh, uh, you want me as your lawyer? Okay, well, yeah, okay, okay. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I'll have to talk to... Which boss are you talking about? This boss or the this, other boss? The other boss. Aren't you getting charged with them and shit? Yo, Rook, you thanks for the 28 months. PW Doom, thanks for the gift sub. Maskalicious, thanks for the 11 months. Okay, Manimal, once again, my interest? man, thanks for the 20 bob. Wow. My oiler! Because of a my oiler! We're on our way no. to... Listen.